Hello. Hello, good and... Guten Abend. Guten Tag. A homoerotic opening. I'm Mark Gatiss. I'm Steve Pemberton. I'm Rhys Shearsmith. And I'm Jeremy Dyson. Welcome to The League of Gentlemen Live at Drury Lane, shot around about 1911. <laughs> and now, for some reason, finally commented on. It feels so long ago. It That's is so long ago. Say. It is a long time. As if we're old men looking back on yeah. our youths. We well, are. Look at this. So, let's explain why we wanted to start with a song. Christ alone. <laughs> None of them was particularly good singers, and yet we just thought it would kick off with a bang. And we had a song to sing, didn't we, Creme Brulee? Creme Brulee. Yeah. Has it ever fully been explored? The lyrics have been published in the book, but I don't know. Really. The song itself came from uh, the band I intermittently play with, Rudolf Rocker. That's right. was a, it was an instrumental track mm. called Voodoo Lady. Yeah. Was, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So where did the title come from? We, I, was my, I think it was my title. I think I was making a joke title. Yeah. It was like the idea of a weak 70s, because yeah. that's what it sounded like, yeah. a weak kind of deep purple track. And then we wrote the lyrics in that hotel room, didn't we? We, we did, we literally with minutes to spare. Yeah. As I <laughs> and then, But then Ted Robbins sang it in the programme. Yeah. And yeah. that was series two. Series two. It was, yes. So here we are in our black and white beginning, like the beginning of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and we thought it would be a, a game of two halves. I do remember saying to Steve that it was the worst idea I'd ever heard. What, black and white? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's true. I thought he it said, why don't we do Steve's two idea. halves? We'll do a black and white opening. As we used to do. And then a full colour second half. Perhaps I mean, this oh, is an opportunity for you to rehearse some of the, the, our past, the theatrical past of the League of Gentlemen. Well, it's all right, because it's all here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the first act. <laughs> the whole gestation of, of, you know, the concept of doing a live tour, having done characters that were completely fully costumed and make up was very difficult for us, wasn't it? To think, well, mm. how on earth now, people know these characters and they look this way, so how do we do it on stage? Quickly, because there's only three of us. And no we thought, first of all, it would be also very good to re-present the way we used to do it when we started at the mm. Canal Cafe. Yeah. Obviously use some sketches that a lot of people have never seen, um, but also, you know, t to show the sort of difference between then and now that it wasn't always Royston yeah. Bayesian we had these different kind of sketches well that's why we chose this particular sketch to start with because I mean people have paid good money to come and see this thing off the telly yeah. and the first thing they see they get this clever clever it's for clever people it's this clever people's sketch ooh, 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 Shakespeare. Oh. but it was, a, you know, it was a statement of intent that that's yeah. what we were going to do we were going to do this don't you know. think you get any I more. remember it played to silence at Sunderland Empire <laughs> <laughs> until you said cunt until I said cunt then it was, yeah. then it was fine well it's going to be alright <laughs> it was always a bit scary though wasn't it to know you know especially on the first first night how's this gonna go but uh, I'll tell you where they really loved this was in um, New York well it's very clever there they, <laughs> they yeah they, they did actually they yeah. enjoyed that the sort of uh, wordplay well this is more their idea of what an English sketch troupe would yeah, yeah, probably. Probably. Absolutely. they didn't laugh at anything else Punch your wankers. <laughs> <laughs> well let's go way back because when we first start when we first put the show on we had this idea that we were going to start off and give the image of a sort of 1950s review yes. hence the tuxedos and also it was like a, a very basic uniform that you could add things to and we got it character. totally wrong that misjudged it entirely because people actually just thought we were a very yeah, yeah, old fashioned yeah. review group. And, and we, we heard stories of people leaving having after the first half saying it was crap and they didn't do the characters. No, I yeah, yeah, on this tour. Yeah, on this tour, yeah. No. Crap, they did not do the characters. I think this first half went down really well considering what people, you know, might have. Uh, well, and it built expected. up the second half's. Yeah, it, really, it did it its everything. job, this is like wow. a kind of hors d'oeuvre. I remember being really shocked on the first night in Bristol, being in the audience, and thinking that the first half was, that they wouldn't respond in any way to just about anything in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, the, and that maybe Tubbs and Edward would get a cheer at the beginning of the second half. So when, I think it's Pop, it was the Pop's, well, we'll come to it. Yeah, yeah. But that was the first, whatever the first character was that came out, got a big cheer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, it was, it was a shock. from the show. That well, was it was shock. exactly, it didn't actually have to be in full costume. And they didn't mind, Charlie yeah. and Stella, you know, yeah. all I wear is earrings. And but let's talk about touch. this sketch, because we, we were approached <laughs> before we did any television or any radio or anything by, um, what was it, Saturday Night Saturday Live? Saturday Night Live, yeah. yeah. When they brought that back with Lee Hurst. Yeah. And we were uh, approached to do uh, the pilot of it, which was done as live. Thankfully, never broadcast. And we did that sketch. 
And there is another sketch to go with it, which is um, to theatre go as a football match. Yeah, it's very good. But Mark and I decided we were going to sit in the audience, didn't we? Well, I don't think it was actually arranged, wasn't it? It was encouraged. You were yeah. encouraged to sit in the audience. Yeah. And the camera swooped up and found you at the beginning of that part two, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and it was absolutely disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a reason. Jerry and I were sat we were in, in the green, green room <laughs> watching it to, in utter silence with other... Co- stand-ups around. <laughs> Bit of a couple stand-ups thinking, who are these guys? Looking at their watches thinking, how long have these been on? And it went down... It, well, you were, you were distracted, weren't you, somewhat? <laughs> by well, people in the audience. There was a You'd party. Place next to some on, special people. With, people. Some this is learning difficulties. Yes. Special people. <laughs> Literally sat next to you and they were... They, you began to speak and they were shouting quite loudly because they, th- they thought you were interrupting the show. Be quiet, they're doing a play. <laughs> They're doing a play. <laughs> and as we're saying the lines in this th- thing, which is done as live, because we couldn't stop and re-record it, me and Mark were just hearing these people. I can They're see doing now. a play. Like, like, literally in my line of sight, as I'm turning to Steve, this big moon face <laughs> bouncing around. Leading over. That has, that, but that quickly entered the League of Gentlemen law, and often the words... They're doing it. <laughs> they have to be uttered since. Yeah, yeah. yeah, many times. But uh, suffice to say, we weren't asked back. Yeah, but thank God. <laughs> the series. All broadcast. Thank God. Now, broadcast. can we talk about these three... Oh, wax- it's too late before this these, schedule. These three wax pigs. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we just first of all say <laughs> about the hair? What am I thinking? <laughs> yeah, got, what's my hair? Far too short. Look you like, look like you're in cooking. Like, like, like Ned Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> you look like... Uh, the uh, drill sergeant from uh, what's it? <laughs> Full metal, metal jacket. jacket. Yeah, <laughs> and I've got, I think what it was, we knew that this um, that this thing was, was going to be filmed on so this we all night. Got bad haircuts. Because yeah, yeah. not normally. Yeah, we quickly got bad haircuts. And a shave. <laughs> Before this You're goes, just we about must show. say that there was one night not very far in when I came on stage and Reese had changed the pack of cards yes. into the filthiest, <laughs> rude. It was called Extreme Cum Shots, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> a, it was just a pack of mucky cars from Black. But there was a picture. And it was like the second sketch, yeah. and I was expected <laughs> to get through it. Well, there was almost a Pauline picture, and you had to point at it and go, that's a go, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it practically was. They, were, they weren't just mucky, Mark. They were like... No. Guys, so there's, there's a particular kind of logical. pornography that you only get on dirty playing cards. <laughs> that is the most offensive yeah. pornography. But who had them? Have. Was it Don who'd given them to you? Don will have it. It was so naughty. They've got to do something on that tour bus. Yeah. That's what they <laughs> <laughs> Just tell the listeners who Don was. Don was our stage manager. Who you actually see him in the second half when Pauline's been shot. I hope I've not spoiled it. No, oh, you have. No, yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 You've probably already bought it once, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. You know these these little uh, say about the, uh, the the little wires that all in, that grew on our faces. Yeah during the tour time we all, all, all had to get those cut off didn't we at the, at the end of it. yeah yeah they're like tendrils yeah. that you look like a bad alien them. from Star Trek yeah. <laughs> we all got them why do we have two in case one packs up yes mm. like engines on an aeroplane well there was a night in um, in Hull when uh, we, we had these um, steam things bought for us because we all had such bad colds <laughs> and uh, something happened to my skin and when they were pa- taped on it wouldn't stay do you remember it was during Malmö yes uh, and they mine were, just were literally off. wobbling around like um, Geiger things was it like uh, R.E.M. when Michael Stipe puts his I don't makes like his that. poke up <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's look. just showing off because you're getting angry <laughs> doing man. his one move <laughs> <laughs> But we were. This is, uh, of course, the culmination of our tour, which went on for uh, an awfully long time, and, and it was a real. This is quite far thrill. into the Drury Lane run, wasn't it, that we did this? This is about the second to last weekend, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, we, we finally came into <coughs> London, and there was a lot of talk about doing the um, Hammersmith the Apollo or something. But we really wanted, because it was a very theatrical show, to go to to Drury Lane, obviously because of Monty Python as well and our arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it'd be brilliant, you know, to to play it as well. But it was an, it was an amazing experience, a lovely place to to be. Well, That's we said course. early on, didn't we? We wanted to, to put it in theatres and not um, drafty barns, <laughs> big drafty barns, because mm. we did. I mean, it was very theatrical. There's all kinds of allusions to different uh, playwrights. So we started with Shakespeare. Yeah, and here's Let's another play. one. Here's another Shakespeare. One of the things, actually, from my when we first started, <laughs> Look at the state of me. <laughs> I don't remember doing any of this. It's all nonsense. It's all new. Think of that really wonderful, subtle characterisation from the television. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what it's become? Just uh, <laughs> the foot. <laughs> the foot. <clears throat> Look at that. It's bizarre. Kabuki thing. Do you remember one night I used to change the name of the director 
according to I used to, and I put someone in someone said my friend's in will you say yeah yeah and his name was really bizarre it was like Bamalama Fizvaj it was bizarre and afterwards he said do you say that every night <laughs> <laughs> oh no I should no, say it yes. was for you <laughs> I know it's strange. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. And an old one with a floppy felt hat. I remember this was one of uh, Ronnie Corbett's favourite sketches yeah. from Edinburgh in 97. She's, she's all there, he said. He said Just she's the all felt there hat. in the felt hat and the. And we the got arm. that from a charity shop, didn't we? we? I mean, there's a number of props in this which we the had very ones from way it. back. And we wanted to, them to be the actual ones. Yeah. As if enshrined. Yeah. <laughs> remember the original Pauline glasses, those white frames? And slightly red t- frames, tea tinted. Were they red? Oh, no, the original. Original mm. ponies were white. Oh, someone frame. stood on them. Yeah. yeah, they got stood on. And on chains, and that never survived. It was anyway. I can't quite believe that's that. a different. Yeah, story. No, that's coming up. Don't worry. So look, <laughs> the bottle <laughs> spider. What is it? <laughs> so you can, if you wish, look up um, the section from Measure for Measure. The Doom Should I translate now? Yeah. Doom Should I believe? Um, well, who, should who, who, who should I who believe? Who would save me? Yeah. In fact, I went to you see. Know it. I went to recently. see Measure for Measure at the National recently, and when this speech, Did you came, <laughs> I absolutely cried with laughter because she's, you know, it's a really a serious part in the play, and I think she's saying, you know, she's pleading for her life. And it's a famous audition speech. <laughs> I I did that. And the end, I'll to my brother. That's that is the Yeah, yeah, I'll to my brother. I'll to my brother. <laughs> Powerful stuff. I really hoped that the actress would do it like uh, somehow she'd know. Louis Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the punch in the air, of course. Is another the story. funniest thing is, it has think, literally just what? happened to us. We went to the wrong place just before we came here, just now, and there was like a pandoof on the steps. Did you hear her? Which was her, please? <laughs> yeah. it that? Maybe it was her. Maybe it was her. Well, again. that was the original inspiration. Just yeah. this mad woman coming yeah. into a shop and, and asking yeah. for yeah. oranges. We've done that on another. Anyway, yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, buy the uh, series two DVD, please, yeah, to hear that, that story. If you wish. <laughs> What's this? Oh, ah, this, this is this, this sketch has a title, doesn't it, Mark? This is called uh, "To Seek, To Strive." To find and not to yield. And this one mm. was written for uh, never seen on telly, apart from comic relief. Oof. We ought to talk about but that. That went down well. But it, uh, for Highgate, we did a very brief run at uh, the Gatehouse Theatre in Highgate. Just it was when we were developing stuff for the first for the TV lots series. Lots of characters. Yeah. Yeah. Lots okay. of characters. Pop, Lazaro, Pop, Pop, Les, yeah. Les. Yeah. yeah. Anyone and else? Was there. Didn't Tish come from? Tish yes. Yeah, there. Tish. Yeah. 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 This was written for that, wasn't it? And, it was, uh, and then Ma- Mark you, is a long-standing devotee. Well, prof. Well, there, well, there is a story <laughs> behind it. Oh yes, tell that story. Into there is a, a story. story. I wonder if you should say this, but I will. Um, it's an interesting. It, we were doing this at the lane, and one night, um, towards the end of the sketch, there was a, there was a, a, a commotion in the, yeah. in the gallery. We thought someone had a heart attack. Didn't yeah, we? and uh, I didn't know what it was. And then the very next day. Um, our agent called and said um, we've had a complaint and um, appallingly uh, a relative of um, one of the actual characters from Scott's expedition had complained <laughs> and it was um, and we were besmirching the memory well, it, it was really also it was kind of personally wounding because I and I, I actually wrote to him in the end to say that the reason we'd been so specific was because I, did, I hate all those things where like an explorer is called Captain Carruthers and everything yes. and I really wanted this to be the real thing you know Birdie Bowers and Scott himself and what what they did in their last moments on, on the last place on earth etc and um, he was very understanding and I paid a thousand pounds towards the <laughs> Scott Polar Museum so I did alright so, yeah. <laughs> but it was it was very so there you go folks any letters of complaint <laughs> to Mark Gates is, is a soft touch <laughs> you might get a, a grand in an envelope <laughs> silenced <laughs> by a <laughs> <an> thousand <laughs> but it was a real show but I, I really love this sketch I think it's also very it was nice to do this because it's um, again in this first half it's a very traditional sketch and it really it's a real python sketch yeah, it hits all like those it. kind of moments of yeah. sort of and something we couldn't do on the show because there's many um, that went by the wayside with our you know I always remember Sarah Smith saying this, it's what equally is what you don't put in is what yeah. you do and, and we found we had trouble with that at first because yeah. we wanted to go all over the place but it's actually there was a discipline important. wasn't there in what mm. we did yeah. but it did shut down a lot of material so it was nice to get it out again it was great to put it in the show yeah. And yeah. Tour, yeah. which is why the, the second card game sketch because they were always yes. as a double bill so exactly yeah. the same thing in fact one of the joys of the League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse oh yeah what's that that's the film which is coming to cinemas on June the 3rd oh, yeah. uh, has been able to actually is le- legitimately go into those historical areas yeah. 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 As, as we will see we did it in the Christmas special as that's well true. Right? Uh, actually true. it's not stops us in the slightest does it <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's all nonsense 
For yeah. about a week it did. But yeah. we knew it was important in this first half to, to, to do this new stuff and give someone, uh, the audience, something really fresh, but at the same time not overburden them and, mm. and make them too worried. So, Which is why there's a balance of, of characters from Royce and Basie sometimes out of costume. Yeah, because, I mean, Tish, no one had ever seen before till mm. we did it on this... Uh, and Scott and the second card game, and yeah, it's quite. This a this is my dad's favourite thing. Is it? Ever done, yeah. He's rude. He likes rude things. Well, you know he likes rude things. Yeah. Yes. He confessed to me the, the other night. He used to play punk before he got married. Your dad. He said he used to, he used to he used to win like 30, 40 quid a time, which in those days would be like four hundred. Them days. Really. Yeah, a respectable man. Do you also remember that in the original version, I used to have a cucumber down my pants? Yes. We, we did struggle with the punchline here, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we we tried do. <laughs> absolutely everything here. Ended up with Union Jack, Union yeah. Jack pants. That's right. What's the actual punchline? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, um, you go first, but... Because I want to... I'll yeah. go before her or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a her. Now, shall we talk about when we did this show in America and we, we, we had to think about my wife's got a fanny like a bear trapper's hat. Yeah. <laughs> because, of course, fanny means... Um, bottom. 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 In quite a tame way yeah. over there. So yeah, what did yeah, we yeah. say? Uh, snatch. I think we said... I think we said... She's got a snatch. <laughs> she's got a beaver like... <laughs> she's got a beaver like a fanny trapper's hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's horribly Surely. <laughs> It didn't anyway, work. whatever it was, it yeah. just died a death, yeah. didn't it? My yeah. my wife was telling me she when she was at Woo! university, Nikki. She was uh, she didn't know that fanny in America meant bum. Mm. And there was this young American student there. I said, "Where's my fanny bag? <laughs> what? Has anybody seen my fanny bag? <laughs> the I must have my fanny pack." And it, she didn't know what she thought he was being filthy. Oh. <laughs> fanny pack, fanny pack, fanny yeah, bum bag, mini bum bag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it was because I can I remember hearing that. Snatch. <laughs> I was imagining being, being dubbed by the feet American. <laughs> Snatch. Look at this. What's oh this Lord, sketch? Is this Look at the chairs all left rubbishly. That's oh. slightly. No, no, no. no. Fact, oh, it's no, it's correct actually. It is. It's Tish. Yeah. We're in this, we moved our own chairs because at one stage these two big old kin men were going to come on and move the chairs between sketches. Well, we didn't have to. Nah, I mean, we <laughs> these, these are the gays. The gay men. <laughs> these are the gays. The we play. It's, it's a sensitive characterisation. Yeah. It is. They're coming to the end of a, 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 a long term relationship. It's Ross. like a Raymond Carver story. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? They're book? splitting up the items. Isn't that poem of the them. day, that book? I yeah. can't remember. It's very sad. Thoughts, now, this because is <laughs> the character of Tish is oh based God. on. Oh God! I mean, what is she? It's an amalgam of. Well, talk many about. People. Remember, Brighton was <laughs> when we first did Tish, and did I do it? Yeah, that's oh, well, madness. The it, it was oh, the character God, was called God. Hypocritical. Yeah. That's it. And the first it was incarnation. In, it wasn't. It was in the show, in the first show. It was actually with Asmodeus, who then became oh, yes. Papa Lazarus. Oh, yes. Well, so you did it then, then I did it, then you did it back again. Yeah. Because when I was Asmodeus, I hypnotized that's Hypocritical. Right. But then I remember doing it in Brighton, and it was me and the yeah, nobody half of the India. Yeah. Then that was more about uh, travellers, wasn't it? But did I do that? Yeah, I can't it was all that ten p half a peanut. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, here she is. And so we 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 took with the first uh, attack. The first level of on <laughs> was on people who sort of go. Uh, away and instead of saying they've been on a holiday they've been on a trip and they're a traveller and been all that to India and they're yeah and um, they're gone they rough it don't they yeah so we covered that and, and but it never really went down that well did it no it was um, a bit kind of just one note so we we uh, still wanted to do something with that kind of character and uh, I mean it's all the hateful people that uh, that surround you at college basically isn't it mm. well, one particular yeah <laughs> who you <laughs> to wear who <laughs> would surround you <laughs> who would surround you like the blob <laughs> You would wear big hoop jumpers. No, that, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> hoop jumpers. That's, that's well, I'm Come staying on, it's out. A long no, I'm staying out of it. <laughs> yeah, but she'll know you are here. I've got a thousand pounds ready. I've got a thousand pounds in the envelope. It's all right. <laughs> 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 I think it's. I was about to say it's an archetypal character. Yeah, it's people. Yeah. I think get it. Um, yeah, and they, I wonder if they still have them today. Oh, Not young people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. The only, I mean, literally, I was in Camden the other day when we went to the mix of the film, and there are still people bumming rollies and sitting. I mean, for God's sake, never change. Yeah, but the German, I Yeah, mean. mostly German or Norwegian. Yeah. Why did you go to Camden? To, to the, the film. That's where mix. the edit is. All oh, right, OK, yeah. fair enough. Umpa That's allowed. But um, it's also an example of the terrible misogyny <laughs> latent in this group. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also I think it's really well observed that awful kind of you know 
talking in baby language and yes, me, yeah, think, yeah. Did you, which really and I used to find incredible catharsis in screaming abuse at every night the end it was, was like was a kind good, of yeah. oh, is it in this you know? she says uh, can you smell split or is that in the series when you say that it's, it's in the split. series it's yeah. in the series really yeah. funny. Yeah. and uh, is that my movie <laughs> my <laughs> movie it's a horror see they're all still there but to me I mean, I re- me laughing I was laughing at <laughs> I remember in the wings that before this sketch thinking this is just a, a sprint you can't with this character you can't stop talking yeah and it was you know there's no air in it to yeah. especially because you you didn't get that cheer of recognition because it's a no, new character you just had to kind of do it you just it was non-stop Robert's left me, he's not quite... You might have dragged Threads backwards. My hair's like straw. Yeah, but look at that. And that is. <laughs> <laughs> Them pigtails actually were used when we did... Me and Mark used to be Chloe and Radcliffe on stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. For the dentist yeah, when, when, when say, Benjamin was... Can we not afford any props? <laughs> <laughs> we had to use all this tucky <laughs> crap. <laughs> just get it all out of the loft. It probably smelled. I know, but from row three backwards. Yeah. That horrible moment, I remember that. That tone. Yeah. Lots of people had that moment. Well, we could update it today, couldn't we? We probably will. But uh, yeah, so these these wigs we'd have for Chloe and Radcliffe, mm. and there was a scene where uh, it was a very disturbing scene. Oh, yeah, oh that happened. was the best. With when the audience went silent. Yeah. <laughs> it was where the joke was that they were going to tell on Benjamin. They were blackmailing him, and they were going to say that they he'd been fiddling with them mm. if yeah. he didn't do what they wanted. Yeah. And it played at silence, apart yeah. from Colette, our agent uh, at, the, at the time. Uh, who just she was laughing when she went. No, she didn't laugh. No, it was a dry cough. Like, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> that was the only sound. Like the, the producers. <laughs> <laughs> that was the days when uh, Radcliffe was a seven foot monster as well, yes. I remember? Yeah, uh, but she is on the radio. That's right, yeah. down. <laughs> I imagine with a hat perched on top. <laughs> <laughs> the shape of like a heart, <laughs> like that one in the <laughs> those cartoons. <laughs> oh, a bit of milking going on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a segue. <laughs> Look at those crosses on the floor. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be genuinely angry, didn't you, that one? It's like the time you discussed the disgust. <laughs> time you left it. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> a robot. <laughs> I just want to smack it. It is. I mean, people pointing your shoulder is one of my bet noirs. I hate that. Mm. Point at your shoulder, yeah. Yeah. Look at that hat. It's a slight no. um, <laughs> a sh- crossover to Pam Doobie in a way. This yeah, there's a felt hatness. Yeah. Felt hatness. Well, that, wasn't that why you didn't do it? Perhaps. Oh, well, I think no, because Doobie was, as... was much later. Yeah, Doobie was later. No, I was going to say if ever I went on uh, Room One Hundred One, which I think is doubtful. Number one would be floppy felt hats. Floppy felt hats from Camden. I hate them. And me and you is going to sit ourselves anyway. down what does she say? and have a guilty girl talky. Capish. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> Furious. I remember writing down in there. Just me. This is like Mark when he's mad and he rarely is angry, but look, look at that. Stupid fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> a huge round of hateful applause. Uh, <laughs> and, and again, a terrible punchline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was not like very good at punchlines. We though. should have done a blackout on that, you shit. Nobody's yeah. good at punchlines. No, no. <laughs> Who is? Yeah, but they why were, didn't we think of that? They were killed off years you ago. Stupid fucking shit. You live and learn. Blackout. You live and learn. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Yeah. That was the point to go, it's isn't just it? Just go a bit forward. God. God. Here we go. Uh, God, is that... Who's this fella? Is this... Did you no. do that, Mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness. I oh, there was, might have been some. Maybe there was something else. Because they're the not on here, are they? Oh, they're yeah, 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 the yeah, breaks yeah. with. No, we didn't top. in the first half. It was straight on. It was oh, quite, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah but it's only bloody. Yeah, it's just. Pair of glasses on. No, no, no. Help it, help it. Too much of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> that means I had a long time off wondering what I was sat doing. This is the slightly ruder version, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. With the tariff. Mm. Was that in the original script or was it added in for the <coughs> We added it for the no. book, actually. Yeah, that's the, right. Uh, for the leaflet, wasn't Up it? the shitter. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, yeah. I get it. I tell you what, I, used to, I really liked doing this. Okay, obviously, it got a good response every time, but but it was much more about putting it back in its original context because doing like the Errol Flynn was... You were able to do the, the joke. stage joke. Yeah, stage it was, joke. was yeah, of yeah. The, the length of the torch beam. And I remember fighting... Um, Sarah Smith. Sarah Smith. Physically. The, uh, physically. <laughs> bite. Wrestling around with a bite. Oh, stupid oh, fucking bitch. Oh, get off me. I bit her and scratched her. Pulling the hair. Um, because it was. Bite in the back. Had to illuminate this actual stalagmite. Yes. Uh, and it, just, it wasn't. It was just. It was kind yeah, of crude. False flat. It wasn't false yeah. flat. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't Errol Flynn. It was more like, you know, probably. David Rappaport. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was going to say someone else, but I'm glad I didn't. It's another thousand pounds. It's a fucking fortune. I know, you can't say no. But do you remember also, we, we did this in America, we should say, between doing, uh, was it after Drury Lane? After Drury Lane and before the before last the leg. Before the next leg yeah. of the tour. We went, we went and we did five shows at a place called the West Beth Theatre. In, in New, New York, York City, off Broadway, and there were a number of things like Maverick bars, and in this it was the Chuckle Brothers, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we just thought, right, well, do we do it, or do we do we make a we change it to American? Uh, it was the Wombles, and mm. we changed it to Green Eggs and Ham. Yeah. <laughs> and any of those changes just went to silence. They died a death. Well, the thing they? is, you, you realise they don't it want it. It takes them short, and they think, yeah, it takes it's them. It's patronising in a way. Why yeah. suddenly uh, American? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like a, you, they it's know you've better, done it. It's better to be undiluted yeah. and they can get it or not. We, we, we didn't change the bars to Hershey bars, did we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Disgusting. I remember doing Regis Stupid. and Kathy Lee in the yeah. cabin. Yeah. <laughs> to total silence. But that's something we learned: is just do what you do yeah. and uh, let people catch up and find out what. That it was is. such a strange thing to go to America and do that week there, all stripped back to nothing again. With a good reaction, but nothing like this. Well, in a tiny theatre. Because in the midst of these enormous venues with this enormous response and all these cheering mm. and, and recognition to characters, it was like going back to New Edinburgh show where we had to earn it. It was all. like in our cafe. Yeah. It was, it was, it was just, so you know, the same, the smell of black matte paint. Yeah. Uh, Chiggy, our agent, actually handing us the props backstage to fly into America with one big yellow suitcase full of uh, these yeah. these props. And she had to iron our shirts. Yeah, yeah, She'd never done it in her life. <laughs> 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 She's a high powered agent, she didn't iron shirts. I wish did for us. But do you remember? It was fun, it was like camping for her. The <laughs> energy sapping interview we had to do just prior to the first <laughs> yeah, day. funny moment. <laughs> Why is it a dead funny moment? It was awful. We were lined up like Guantanamo Bay. We were there with <laughs> really bright lights in our eyes. It was BBC. And poured water on Jeremy. And this, <laughs> this voice, we, this voice out of the blackness, just we, we put a camera on us and said, what is Wait. a dead funny moment? Do you remember? Because we, it was a BBC America thing called um, Dead Funny. Dead funny. Yeah. It was Bill Bailey and Owen O'Neill and us, and uh, it was a little season. And we did this thing, and they said, we want to just talk about what do you think is dead funny? What is a dead funny moment? And we actually, I remember just before it, saying, yeah, but we're not... We're not going to say anything like that. We'll just talk generally about what we find funny. Okay. okay. What is a dead funny moment? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely nothing. What is a dead funny moment? Oh, it was awful. What did it be? And it absolutely no one answered. I can remember actually <laughs> feeling just a cold sweat trickling <laughs> It was just ghastly. Uh, yeah. But we did have a good laugh. Uh, did we say this? This is. This is? <laughs> Watch yes. back, that probably was. Oh, God. <laughs> is he still on? Still yeah, it's on. Long. So long see, it's nice though, you see. You can take your time. This was always a highlight of the Edinburgh show of the '97. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. 97 it's this. brilliantly written. This. It's a fun. It's a pleasure to watch. One of the other good ones that's never resurfaced from '96 was um, her. What's oh, Fiacre. Fiacre. Fiacre Monkey Shines. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, this time. Another <laughs> funny, very funny monologue. Yeah. One of Mark's highlights. Very good. Fiacre Monkey Fiacre. As it should be. Fiacre it's a man's name. It's a man's name, yeah. but we yeah. thought it was a woman. <clears throat> yes. And we've been using the Northern Alan Bennett joke every year yeah. since. So. We should say what the character was, now we've mentioned Oh, yeah, well, she, she was a posh journalist, yeah, wasn't posh it? Yeah, posh Northern correspondent. Going North. Going yeah. North. Yeah. Based on an article we read in The Guardian, which made us actually scream. With anger. It was, it was an, an interview it, with it, Simon it, Armitage. Simon Armitage. Yeah. Yeah. And it was... It, the, she'd so taken him to he, lunch. He, he had taken so him to lunch at the Victoria Quarter in Leeds. And he'd been given change. And in his change was a £5 note. And, and he, the journalist, said... E, I bet you don't see many of them in North. In North. <laughs> and, then it, and then it said, nor poets neither. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 yeah, anyway, <clears throat> what's that next? was then? What's next? It's exciting. Oh, it's Charlie Stalin. What's that? Joseph Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Popcorn? Our pop's in the other bits, isn't it? Oh, I thought this was coming out. No, I think we um, we cut that just because, because it had it was been a the scene. same as the one yeah, on. It was more or less what. Now right. this we would often laugh okay. in this. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Look at ludicrous. Oh, your I hair is. What is it? It's very short. It doesn't suit Stella. I know it doesn't. Just a pair of earrings. She, she's there. But what she's we do, <laughs> what we change in this is the name of the pub, wasn't yeah, it? And that would. Always Are you going down? Because the, what the brilliant thing was, we had to repeat it. I, whatever I said, yeah, you yeah, had to I say. I had to oh, say. Right. You mean like, you change this every night? Yeah. yeah. Often. Yeah. So yes. instead of going going down Swiss, and you'd say, "We're not going, We're not down, going down Swiss." Swiss. Oh, one night, one night he said, 
Um, do, you, Ed, do you want to go down extreme cum shots? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Like that. that, that, that actually, going down extreme cum shots. Excuse me, that could be like a really trendy li- where they serve shots in a glass. <laughs> you could get, you you could get a servo <laughs> bar <laughs> extreme, extreme cum That's shot. what he meant. But whatever the joke was of the day, I'd make that the name of the pub, and the audience couldn't understand what oh. I was, but they'd laugh anyway. So <laughs> well, the night, I remember this, Drury Lane. Yeah. You said, and we'd been backstage while he was doing the cave guide, and we saw a mouse run across the back. And then in this, you said, You're going down a little mouse at back or something like that. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> ludicrous. And then he had to repeat it. Not going down a little mouse at back. Not going down a little mouse at back of stage. <laughs> it drew me I can't believe it. Just now. <laughs> oh, dear. So that was the kind of thing that used to but this was, um, us on stage. This was, of course, this sketch was shot for the first series and wasn't used, so we felt with you, a with hair like to mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we funny eye. And you say, we put that as an extra on there. Yeah, 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 on, yeah. On a DVD, still available at series one. <laughs> <laughs> you know I can't see colours, Tony. No, I can't see colours. <laughs> But was this the first Charlie and Stella we ever wrote? Or... Yeah. You no, it was Louis yeah, Jesus. Was you fucking what, back sit again? It's really savage, isn't it? It is savage. It's proper um, northern Aye. gritty play, this. Could be. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd like to see a whole play of it. <sighs> well, it's coming up, isn't the it? North. 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 Yes, North. North. yeah, North. yeah. North. Oh. Who's your team? No, I don't really follow Speak a language. <laughs> <laughs> We should say a little while we can um, about what it was like on tour, not yeah. just at the lane, but on the 111 date tour that we did. Oh, I brought my thing with all the dates on. Oh, because you know what, you know what we did when we were really bored. Did we? We went through. We mark marked them? about a ten. Oh, you haven't got the marks. No, I haven't. I've been looking for them, but I haven't. But we had a good set of ones that was ten all in a row. Oh, yeah. All the northern ones were good, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. We started in Bristol. She wears glasses, you know, is I think my favourite line. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite things, the strangest things about it though, was that you could never tell. I remember once, it was the Sheffield, first Sheffield That was one. great. I it? came off after like two, and I said to Reese, this is going too well. Yeah, it was, it was phenomenal. Afterwards, I said to Steve, God, that was, and it was like, he just thought it was fine. Yeah, it was and always it, the It's way. always a different, you'd come off saying, God, that was the best one we've ever done. And Others everyone, were like, oh no, it's terrible, it's going terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's just personal to how you think things have been. You do start to think sometimes they don't like you, personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole audience <laughs> has one is going, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's him it's again. again. <laughs> no, suddenly it's what was the lowest mark, Steve, on your list? Well, uh, I don't want to offend people in Watford, Watford but yeah. Watford? Yeah. Mm. That was an oddly, yeah. Because it was, it was like a prison, it was like a borstal where we were doing it. Mm. There's just people coming and going, and it was one of these, it wasn't a theatre, it was a big <clears> hall. <throat> With chairs just right. It felt backwards. like a legs of Kimber type community type thing. Right. Not really a proper. Like, there's, 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 However, it was it was one where we had a lot of friends in because it's quite yeah, close to London, yes. and we were really depressed Simon about Peg it. Was mm. in, Simon Pegg was in. Simon Pegg, Matt, Matt and David. I know. Uh, number of people, and they all came backstage and said that was such a great show. Yeah, and we did right. we did that awful thing that you know. Well, we often do. The people are trying to congratulate you, and you're going no, no. <laughs> you just won't <laughs> accept. I will it. not hear of it. No, it's crap. Not and here is the second car game. I, what I can't believe now, looking at this, is we didn't get white wigs. I know. What were we thinking about? Well, I think we wanted to, but this is we what We look like two Brian Mays. I think those <laughs> were all you could get from the joke shop on Upper School. Yeah. <laughs> Which is where Phil McIntyre shops. Two yeah. Brian Mays, I'm yeah. still laughing at. I absolutely love this sketch, and I was, I was very glad we could put it back in, because um, I love the play with the whole language and everything and it's really the, the start of the whole um, 17th century section in the film yeah, it's true based on this the love of this kind of thing and Draftsman's Contract and Blood and Satan's Claw but there's another disc about that isn't there? of course there is I like this sketch because I got a good rest yeah, you know? <laughs> I'm sat there while they're wittering on I think sometimes <laughs> I'll see you sat laughing <laughs> for some reason you'd be laughing remember the night Mark, when we were I've talked about this in the other bit actually where we saw in the wings Don <laughs> just doing like a puppet show you tinily just, against the light you just see his hands like a like, like emu a little, without emu on like just doing the lines, lines. It was, the I was funniest thing we were laugh. couldn't and I didn't know whether he'd spotted it but we both had it was a <laughs> was he doing it to make you laugh yes <laughs> but it was imperceptible the mouth movements on it it was really yeah. funny like finger bobs I used to think as well there were some sketches like this one where you because it was unfamiliar you were 
you know, walking a tightrope. And some of the slightly rowdier venues. I remember the, particularly once this sketch had been ruined. Yeah. Somewhere where it had gone, they'd gone almost the whole course before what No You of Eight Men Down, and you get the big reaction. Yeah. And someone would just went, Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. don't you do that? It was like, Oh, don't do that. <laughs> and it, it was so great when people completely yeah. went with it. Yeah. Know, Which, you know, nine did. times out of ten. Oh, yeah, time. yeah, it was always a brilliant penny dropping moment, wasn't it? You kind of waited for it. I guess one thing, but, but well, I've Have you got a little fingernail on? No. Sometimes you had that. I did uh, yeah. at uh, Gatehouse. Yeah. Sorry. Jay. No, I was going to say, one thing I always marvelled at, and Steve, was his ability to get a laugh when he wasn't doing anything. I was not in, I remember the very first show in the This Is It show. Remember the sketch about the coach? The coach. The, the video. Oh, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. And you were the driver. Yeah. And you, this, you weren't, you didn't have any lines. You were uh. sat with your back to the audience. It was the, and the biggest laugh in it was <laughs> the way you were putting your hand up yeah. at one point. Acknowledging his name. Yes, uh. acknowledging his name. That was the. And helmet. even then, there was a laughter to be had, and you s- gently swayed yeah. Yeah. as you drove. It's this reminds me of the. This yes. <laughs> reminds me. I, I am uh, no Of the other sketch from the gatehouse where Steve went into a um, costumier mm. as an actor, and you were the. Costume wearing Cliff Pallet, yeah. Cliff Pallet, that was very funny. And thing. what of costume? Wearing a wig like that, but then <laughs> it was taken off, and for the rest of the show, he had a million hairs <laughs> on his know. shoulder, backlit. Yeah. Yeah. It was hysterical. Well, it was um, the Captain Hook, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was it. That's yeah. right, yeah. Playing yes, Captain yes. Hook. Doubling his darling. Well, that'd be enough of a hook. And what of costume? <laughs> what of costume? What was the character's name? Um, oh, God, it was There was a name for yes, it. There was. I think it was a single he name. Was, you can't get like Henry. It's Henry, it's based on Henry McGee, but it, what's his <laughs> name? <laughs> Henry something. I'll have to look it up. This was funny. It's like an orgasm. Yeah, we've teased yeah, them, we've teased them. It's Friday night, I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 I do not, sir! I, I! Oh, I, I forgot, I turned against you and then knew oh. it as well. <laughs> is this the end of this first? No, there's no, there's, a, miles, yeah. there's, a, there's only one more sketch. Is there? Is it? Mm. Well, we've Ollie, the legs of Kimbo. No, this, this was originally yeah. done as a uh, a one-off sketch before even legs of Kimbo existed. Before yeah, anything, really. it was just it a was just time. a pastiche. A pastiche. Of, yeah, but we decided to give it to legs of Kimbo, and it was a risk, wasn't it? I Absolutely. remember having real mm. doubts about this. Well, it's such a. Um, Clever thing, really. <laughs> Specific. Yeah. I think ultimately it's because I mean, even if you don't know Jim Cartwright or even Willie Russell, there's the the thing that sells it is the nerdiness. Yeah, yeah. And the f- everyone's the familiar with it. Like we were talking about before, like the Northern Correspondent. It's always yeah. been a good source of humour. Plus, there's also just an energy, and you just enjoy the words and the language, yeah. even if you don't know yes. any of it. The piece itself. Do you remember that? This is the worst uh, play. This is my brother's all-time favourite. Yes. yes. That's Scumbelina. <laughs> I know. That's right. He, he couldn't get over it. He, he loved, loved it. it. He didn't yeah. understand it. I think. Well, there you are. That's right. He enjoyed the piece. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's worth putting on <laughs> but it was re- I mean the, the origins of this are that when we were at uh, Breton we went to the Royal Court in 86 and saw the first production of Jim Cartwright's Road Road with it and yeah. um, what <laughs> particularly you and Gordon and me we just couldn't get over um, the fact that a lot of the southern ponsers in our class were crying at the end yes. <laughs> of this ludicrous thing, <laughs> but portraying nerdness as this with pity, though. heroic. Oh, yeah. They were crying with, with pity, pity at those characters. <laughs> it was like, we were looking <laughs> around and going, oh, what? Because people actually do live like that. <laughs> so it must have been awful for it's you. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> now it's nice around me. <laughs> oh, he wants me comes dust in me nick as a cow scrape him off. Well, you could actually do the without changing a word of road and do an hysterical version yeah. of it. Well, it was that. Yeah. It was that. I never forget as well. I, we went to a, a talk afterwards, and Ian Glenn and Mozzie Smith were talking. And uh, Ian Glenn said he thought he might never do anything else. He couldn't top it. I don't think so. It was Mozzie who said was that. Was it Mozzie? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's on, on the theatre across the road. I was going to pop in and ask him. Yeah, yeah. I got his fan mail the other day. Did Why? you? I think I'm next on the roller deck. And I got Ian Glenn's fan mail sent to him. You it? You yeah. had a slight look of him. Was it a thousand pounds in it? What do you mean a thousand pounds in it? At ICM. Oh, ICM. Mm. Look at this. I lo- used to be great to be able to <laughs> shout at somebody in the audience. But also just that knowledge they were there finally as well. But it's always great to kind of acknowledge. 
<laughs> that, but if we were suddenly in that building with that yeah. set of people yeah. being uh, the being, fourth wall had been removed. Yes, absolutely, and it was. Nice it warm me up there. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and <Bit of> flexing. <coughs> so this first bit is uh, bouncers, it's bouncers, isn't it? particularly. Yes. Yeah. Just they're getting ready to go out and stuff like that. Yeah. Got me bird. Coming round. I mean, it's as good and as choreographed as any of those. Yeah. I'm afraid. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Chucked together. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Chuck together. It's nicely lit. I like the orange. That was uh, Olivier Award winning lighting designer Mark Henderson. Henderson yeah. yeah. Uh, He's got so many Olivier's. Couldn't we have had one? No. One of his. He was a bit limited in this first half, really, to be fair, with yeah. what he could do. But the second half, he goes. He put some limelight on the uh, restoration sketch. Right? So let's, True. let's keep trying a, a track of. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love the random or, why. Yeah, the yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> look around. A, a lot of it came from uh, also the when you're doing improvisations as a drama student. Yeah. <laughs> Corey's like this now. Don't we do Brett and Fire? Oh, yeah. At one point, there's the clicking of fire. We did do Brett and Fire. I think at one stage we did. That's what I said, Elmo's fire. It's a phenomenon only to be found on stage. That's volume nine of the autobiography. That one P. One B of B. What does it say in the local book about a penny rolling off the stage? If this happens, a good character actress would be able to deal with it, such as Pam Ferris. It was Ollie's explanation of what what could be done if the uh, penny fell off the stage. <laughs> Into the pit. <laughs> but the, the, the bit I, I was quite proud of, I think it's quite clever, is poverty, poetry is poverty it's with an extra, extra V. Now that is That's an original it. line. Yeah, and the V flick like, is genuinely could come that from That could have come yeah. from, you know, <laughs> like I could get like a Pulitzer or an Olivier. Or, <laughs> or an Olivier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's no, worth no. saying as well, people might not know we were actually nominated for the Olivier for this show. For this show. We do now. <laughs> um, because Can we, we were put in... a sticker on that says that? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. It will have. absolutely. Yeah, Emma? Come on. <laughs> Is she nodding? Yeah, it's Brett and Fire, look, you're doing it there. Yeah, there's Brett the Brett and Fire. Oh, fuck. But we lost out to Shock Edit Pizza. Well, yeah, which yeah, was very good. Do you remember that really grim buffet we had after? Oh, no seats! <laughs> no seats! No seats! The bloody Olivia I remember watch. Jeremy said it's like being on a ferry. <laughs> <laughs> you had to balance your paper plates. Uh, it was horrible. Can you imagine Lord Olivia stood there with his paper plates? We were very proud, though, of that nomination because it's like, you know, it could easily have been dismissed as a, you know, a spin off. Sh uh, live show and just we like we'd put no work into Absolutely. it. It was really it something to get very like a uh, proper piece of, of theatre. Yeah. Actually, is what we wanted. Mm. Alongside the vagina monologues and Barbara Cook sings. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> is that the other nomination? If we'd have Barbara Cook in this, would have been And Al Murray, the pub landlord, to be yeah, fair, was yes. also. Up. Yeah. But if you appear in a West End venue, you're allowed to be nominated. But then we've often been nominated against strong things like at Montreux when we were up against Pets Win Prizes. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, uh, do, you remember, do you remember that Swiss judge told us that we'd beaten Gabby Rosin's Whatever You Want by two votes? <laughs> Thank you Let's very much. Forget, you must always have humility. Yeah, mm. absolutely. <laughs> well, that puts you in your place, I think. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm always up to. I'm always in character now. Really. I used to love the, the big nice. long stream of consciousness. What was that? Um, Blast off, blow off, yeah, blow let off off see, my steel magnolias, all these old feelings, the cat weasel, weasel poppers, the top of the range, Grange Hill, why would you speak to me, Roland? That's the best story. And I used to get such a laugh <laughs> back. Why won't you speak to me, Roland? Roland. 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 From Road, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, but we had we, to change it because we used to do Hello. Hello, Lionel Richie. And it worked a lot better and we had to we couldn't get the Change clearance, could we? Clearance. So what song is this? <laughs> he didn't Let's like listen. It. We had to change quite a few of those sounds. That's a shame, isn't it? I, we began a, a naughty shh, thing shh, where... Shh, shh, oh, right, sorry. oh no, you should be not listening to it. Yeah, just, just, just to get the song. Right. Finger through the fly. What is it? What is it? Some, some, some rubbish. No, it's not the same. It was just something. It was my Everybody used to lift up the, the, the uh, record and say something different every night. No me. <laughs> something <laughs> nice, different. <laughs> what? No me. Just lift up you the thing me. and You know me. <laughs> Suddenly. Suddenly, that's yeah. it. Billy Ocean. Yeah. yeah. 
I so think there was me and Mark at the back slump like Vic, Vic and Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something or other, wasn't it? It was in the uh, smell of. <laughs> yes, I remember the original <laughs> version as well of the caressing of ourselves. It's this very gentle. <laughs> Eventually, yes. And then it's like, oh, someone's got a laugh doing something. Yeah, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. All right, well, I better do something then. And in the end, it's Just pornographic. Like three, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's dramatic, really, isn't it? Jim Cartwright's. Yeah. I was. Uh, See, this is an odd one because we come out with who it is we've been. I know it's cheeky, it, really. That's three thousand pound there. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, so really. technically, is that two on the nose? But yeah, is it? And I'm wondering for an audience, it's like, oh right. Is that well, we it? did write it long before, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we, would, we wouldn't do it today. No. Wouldn't do it now. <laughs> but no, um, really but we're ending this first half on a very literate. Yeah. But then no, that's what we are. We are, we're clever clogs. <laughs> Jim Cartwright, I worked with Jim Cartwright's son recently and he came up to me and said, did you do a thing where you took the piss out of my dad? <laughs> <laughs> he said, yes. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I said, no, it was an affectionate uh, pastiche, which it is. Yeah. Is it? It mm. is. It, is. <laughs> it was, it's savagery. No. And there we go, done. And now we would be off like the clappers to get into the costume. Well, should be able to see. Should we pause there, because I need a wee? Oh, great, yeah, we will. I enjoyed that wee. Did you? And Good. it was very nice. So you've just done it now in your trousers. Yeah, very. I, did, I couldn't. I couldn't get out. I got to fantasise about that. <gasps> what are you on about? <laughs> like, what? Well, not, not in a sexual way, but just kind of. Just what would it be like? Just to have a wee in your pants. Yeah, just to let it go. Willfully, just to let it go. When you were a kid. I anyway, do, and I moving on. A pleasure in it. <laughs> moving on. God. So, Matt, tell them about when you cried. I used to well when we started the first <laughs> we started this Bristol didn't we and um, yeah. I, I mean like the first week I was standing dressed as Chinnery for the next sketch and I was so overwhelmed by the warmth the reaction really made me cry it was constantly moving <laughs> it was yes moving thing it's, it's lovely it and we've done all about the flying on the other bits but yeah, so uh, that's, it, you know that's, that's done what do you mean Hmm? When we did the other talking heads for this DVD, the documentary, oh, right. we, we yeah, talked yeah, yeah. about the flying because you'd filmed it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay hard, John. Yeah. I was saying I look like a pig, Ooh, but yeah. look, Damn these yeah. are the massive wings. I mean, it was all very um, carefully so, thought out. I think there was a yeah, an element of people going right here we go, and it gave a real boost to what. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people definitely will have been waiting for for this and for the, the uh, which is fair enough, fair enough but also it's um it did pick up where the end of the second series left off mm. yeah which is quite strangely. unusual it is unusual it's since then of course they've been killed resurrected killed resurrected yeah. like 20 <laughs> times so. but there was a nice kind of bridging beginning and end to this second half wasn't it they actually have got a little journey that yeah. they go on yeah there's a little story there yeah yeah and, and they, get we to have go, they get to go back to Earth, it's a bit like Carousel, or it's a wonderful life, they come back to Earth at the end. They've yeah. got one opportunity to redeem themselves. Ooh, for the, for the it's killings. kind of like, uh, it's a wonderful life as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's I not, all, it's not thrown that. together, is it? No, there's a lot of thought about it. I mean, this scene isn't just every line that Tubbs ever said that got a laugh, said one after another. Somehow stitched <laughs> together. <laughs> you can't think that, can you? No, 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 I, don't, no. I really don't think you can say I remember always having to groom the, the Edward hair into my liking. Uh, I spent a long time on it every time. It was always he's changed thrown mine down. over the years, hasn't he? Yeah, hasn't he? I, was, I caught a bit of the second series of New K Girl the other day, and he, he genuinely looks. He's grey, cadaverous, Shrek like. The film like version of Edward is like a, a matinee like, idol. Yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> he's like Dirt Bone. He's really rolling. It's the same hair. It's far yeah, too Slightly large nostrils, a lovely quiff. <laughs> great yeah, the size, like Stuart Granger. He's like Doctor in Trouble. <laughs> Can I Look just say, this, this scene was great to do in Swansea, wasn't it? Remember the response yeah, we got yeah, when we were actually in Swansea? Yeah. It, it fucked the scene up a bit. No, we were in Cardiff. <laughs> Cardiff? We were in Cardiff and it was because it was a thing against oh, Swansea. Oh, it was a massive it? Cardiff. Where was the hate arena, wasn't it? Yeah, Remember? yeah, yeah. yeah. Where was the one where they hated Swansea? It was a big boot. Cardiff, Cardiff, oh, Cardiff that's Cardiff, it, that's yeah. Awesome. No, we never went to Swansea, did no, we? Yeah. But it was yeah. a thing. Remember, that was the last night of the first leg up to Christmas. That's right. And it was in Cardiff and it was... A bear pit. It was yeah. like nothing would ever. It kind that one. The woman came on the stage. The man, the drunk, came on the stage, and Steve, was it with hair lip? Or yeah. Steve, anyway, the stage was empty, and the man just came up with a handkerchief on his head, like a, a oh, stage drunk. Right, yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Uh, trying to get fend people off like Dawn of the Dead. 
Yeah. And then did it, during the polling sketch, two of them I tried to... I saw you say, it's not fucking Tammy Winnett. <laughs> Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler, yeah. Tyler sorry. <laughs> the Welsh connection. <laughs> they didn't get it. No. We had members of, what's that Welsh group, Jeremy? Oh, uh, uh, Super Fairy Animals. Was it yeah, Super yeah, Fairy yeah Animals? they were in there. Uh, I think they stirred it up a bit. Yeah. It was like a gig. Yeah. Is that what they're called? A gig. <laughs> Ironically, Super <laughs> like Fairy concert. Animals were, the, were on that Saturday, Saturday Live. Saturday Live. Oh the, the monkeys. Were they? Live, Maybe it was yes. a kind of revenge. Yeah. Have we had Chubby's announcement? No, they're not on. Couldn't Where afford him. Couldn't oh, afford. Do you remember his announcement only arrived halfway through the tour because yeah, the negotiations right. with George, the manager. Used to do it, <laughs> he married Jeremy. We couldn't afford We've to told that story. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> to well, here we go. Now, talk about the terror. First of all, the week. First of all, the week. Now, <laughs> obviously, in an unseen adventure, Chinnery has um, had extensive chemotherapy <laughs> and is having to wear this ludicrous, cheap NHS wig. And that now we haven't even talked about the wigs. The, I know. the whole procedure of oh, this no. tour. Where did they get them off? Shop dummies, wasn't no, it? No, it was a place called Hair Razors. <laughs> and we had to go with the tour uh, costume people and, and choose these No, wigs. go further back, Mark, because remember when they brought the wigs in that they were going to use? Oh, yes. We have been this already. Hysterical. This story, and Pauline was like Rita Hayworth. It was like 20 foot long, beautiful brunette, <laughs> reddish thing. Had to be chopped down. It's just it's not any relation to the characters at all. And that is the Keith drop wig from the third series. Yeah, because we were obsessed with it. Yeah, we were oh, you know what we can talk about is uh, your magic teaching mm. with Jeffrey Durham. Yeah. Do you remember we went to his studio in. Uh, in in uh, Belsize Park? No, it's in um, uh, Off Leighton Road. Kentish Town? Kentish Town. Yeah, which is where we did the rehearsals. A yeah. whole uh, yeah. monkey on your back there for the entire Oh, yeah, tour, really. Wasn't I mean, it, what, I tried to, what we wanted to do was obviously something animal related, but we wanted to do something less elaborate uh, that we could manage. But in the end, it was like I had to manage the, the wand with the explosive paper in, and that rose. Like every night I had to check my wand it was just really it was far too much high maintenance stuff <laughs> it was, and, yeah, was really and, and also you had to contend with back over the other side oh of yes the, um, that came character. later yeah. yeah me and Steve shouting as loud as we could Sally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it gets to when it gets to the end of begin the begin just banging in Mau Mau cutlery <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, well, we would because we've got become completely we had mad. ages to get ready didn't yeah. we yeah we were we used to so do what, 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 should, what should we do maybe prepare for the next sketch no <laughs> we'll fuck up Mark we'll <laughs> <to, we'll laughs> sit in the Indian restaurant that's all prepared now at the backstage and shout lines from but no, what, <laughs> I'll tell you what it was <laughs> nah, come on I'll tell you what it was <laughs> we used to gauge the audience <laughs> by doing thumbs up or oh, thumbs down oh, yeah. and then we'd, <laughs> we'd just seen Texas Chainsaw we'd be watching yeah. it again where the guy in the wheelchair used to go and that became Sally! Sally! And he shouted for Sally over We realised <laughs> we could say it at the top of our voices and no one could hear no, okay. it. Mark! <laughs> Thank you very much. Sally! No. I want to make one other uh, <clears throat> observation and that is that this uh, magic thing you're using there is the counter from the local shop and it sometimes used to roll oh, stories yeah. well we used to go on places the rake. and you had no I mean we'd just get in so, like Sheffield we got in with 15 minutes to spare we just went straight off the bus on stage and sometimes the like, big rakes on the stage I think Watford was one of was cursed that yeah. and I remember I actually couldn't get round the front <laughs> I had to bang around the curtains like Markham and Wise it was so embarrassing but it just, you know, I remember you kind of trying to stop it rolling with your feet. <laughs> 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 it's so low tech when you think Hello. about it. It is cheap. That's what makes it great. It's the only it? way to keep it going, I suppose. Yeah. Look, he's aware of his own curse there. Yeah. I've still got it? that cat, it's in a jar at home. Oh, nice. Have you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How does it end this? Now what are they laughing at? Because they can't the see that there's blood on your fingers. No, they could. Sitting, like, Obviously they can. It's the squawk of the yeah, cat. Yeah, but they've had the squawk of the cat. They know what's happening. All oh, right, OK. Mm. Cats don't squawk, the by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we do end this stabbed. An hour into this lunch Here we go session. with uh, <laughs> Bobby Ball. Bobby Ball. <laughs> Bobby Ball covered in white paint. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we, we should talk about the, the wigs because we didn't finish that story. So when the woman brought these wigs in, I mean, they weren't any good. She got sacked, and um, we had to go. And <laughs> ah, what on, is it? We had to go and choose our own wigs, didn't we? Yeah. At this place, hair razors, but you couldn't touch them. Don't touch the wigs. <laughs> you weren't allowed to touch the laser beams around, weren't they? You had to guess. So it was just an approximation. We were so frightened, we just came up with anything we could grab. 
But what's this? You look. You know where I present to take a bill. I thought of a worse one, but I can't say it. I have to say it to you. Oh, what it looks like? Yes. Whisper. <laughs> I can't say. It. I'll whisper it to Reese. Yeah, go on. Uh, 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 okay, we'll we'll talk amongst yeah. ourselves. <laughs> so of course this became. This is our. <laughs> this is our. <laughs> you've got to whisper it to me now, Reese. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> This, of course, was our sketch to do. <laughs> Go on, listen to me, though. <laughs> Something else going on. You are? You know that one about the Momo? Oh, I can't remember that, Jeff. You tell no, me. No, you can't, man. Danny Torres. We're going to stay at us. We look like we've been in the pub for about five hours. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. Soaked with sweat. Well, you did have a very quick change, to be yeah, fair, yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I am prop again. But this would be the the sketch which we're, we've done more than any, wouldn't it? Of course, oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, it was quite. It, it, it was great to do it, but it, and it, but it always required full, full on. You, you had to. You can't do it by half measures. Do you remember getting to that stage? I very, very vividly remember getting to a stage later on where you suddenly didn't think you knew a line. Yeah, of absolutely. It, <laughs> it <laughs> became <laughs> nonsensical. And you so I knew it so well. I didn't know a word of it, and I just think if this is just going to come out now. Yeah, yeah. I'm the other thing is, it goes right back to the beginning. I mean, yeah, this. Yeah. I mean, on stage, pre anything. Yeah, this yeah, was yeah. in the first Edinburgh show, wasn't it? No, yeah. I mean, this yeah. is quintessential. I mean, you might kind of find it tedious now and be <laughs> hateful of this sketch but it is absolutely us it's kind mm. of a master class in what we did yeah. oh, I, do you know, I can still remember Ted Robin. Uh, being the first time you read it to us yeah me and Mark we were around at your flats at Stephen Lewis's flat in Highgate mm. and I was lying on that sofa and you read it out and I thought you bastard <laughs> why how Genius. have you written that Genius. I thought it was oh. brilliant yeah. I didn't know how you'd done it. Yeah. Well, they copied that book. That's why I thought. Found it last week. <laughs> Advice for comedians. What was that book you bought me, Breton? How to be a comedian. Oh, yeah, it no, you bought it for me. Did I? Oh, that's very long ago. Yeah. That well, it's, it's st stood us in good stead, sure, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Such a Do you remember that? It was a strange joke, in it? Look at that, what's this? <laughs> what? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, what is he doing? Tub thumping. Ticker Villa. <laughs> Taco Villa. Now, of course, this is also, we must also come on to the Bubble Angel. Yeah. <laughs> we went, we went 111 we, we went shows. Mad. We went totally mad. And I started. Can I actually here. preface this? Because mm. there's a good preface to this. Was when I, I, I didn't see you at all on the last leg of the tour. And I came out for the last mm. day, which was. Last night of the tour was Blackpool, Blackpool and I right. came to meet you the night before in Manchester. And Mark ran out of the hotel and he grabbed hold of me in all seriousness <laughs> without any irony and said, I think we're going mad. <laughs> we were. I mean, it's, it's, a long, it's a long a long do and you start to lose it a bit. But um, I started to hear this sound which was like, which was, I think, someone blowing bubble gum and it was snapping like that. I like started to think that someone was doing it deliberately in following all us. the pauses. Yeah, and like night after night. And we started to call it the bubble angel. And then Steve heard it and Reese never did. And we we made it at one thing, time, it, and it was a bird's body with a baby's head, wasn't it? Why was it a, a bird's pigeon's body? Why? I don't know. Because well, we were mad. Because right. we were mad. And um, and then really right at the end, and maybe not in Blackpool, but towards the end, we were doing Mau Mau one night, and in one of the big pauses, and we all heard it, and we actually just turned straight out of the audience and went there. Yeah, it was. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Any, only the three thousand people there. Uh, it was just like it's there. Yeah, yeah, that was no. it. Wasn't it? That was it. Yeah. <laughs> You've the paid good money to be here. <laughs> yeah, and this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Losing something. our minds on stage. I think it came from us, um, because we're in so many theatres and there was always such ornate kind of gargoyle-like yeah. um, frontispieces. pieces. Yeah, a little cherub. Somehow they, we always sat up, they always had tickets up in the circle as yeah, well, yeah, so you yeah. were just looking up for it. And that's why it was a pigeon. Yeah, uh, it was always up, up uh, top with well, it. But they were clever. They had a baby's head. head. There's really, a horrible um, I think it was true, truth I to it, yeah. because I remember on uh, there used to be talking leads of a, a, a monster on Ilkley Moor <gasps> called the Trollenberg Terror. <laughs> named <laughs> after, after the film. film with Warren Mitchell. Yeah, but with, uh, which was a half man, half bird thing with talons. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Clawed at sheep, that's I. So it meant, it meant sheep. Oh, it sheep. Could sense. have been the bubble angel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, still going on. Now we've got good footage of this, I think, when you well, did in right. Blackpool, yeah, right, which yeah. I think we've covered oh, in the good, documentary. Good. But yeah, it was always really, a really, I really, I watched that and when we were putting it on, and I thought it really handled it well because actually I hadn't really thought past pulling the gun, yeah. and it actually starts to work. And then, and, yeah, and then you, you said, "I've listened, I've done this joke, I've listened I've to this joke." Times, you tell it. <laughs> 
It's like it? Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pacino and Al now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? I must, I've never said this, but I love Mike Harris's suede jacket. Yes. <laughs> it is the really blues correct. on. The blues on. It's yeah. the fact he just sits there on the back of the chair. Yeah, <laughs> never worn. Never, never worn. Oh, just there. Yeah, that's E for you. He's it's a, a dad He's thing, obs- obsessive as we are. Yeah. 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 The blues on. And when we first met Don French and I said, you, it was our challenge to t- someone had to touch her. <laughs> talk to her? No, was it was talk it talk to her? her? Well, no, I think it was talk to her, but all we got was touching because we, you you put a coat up near her, didn't you, and managed to touch her with it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> clever. Where was that? It was at some party. A challenge. Mm. PBJ Christmas PBJ party. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I said, I'm going to talk to Don French tonight. Don French. And all the way through, it. obviously, I didn't have the courage to do it. <laughs> and then at the end, she came up to me and she said, excuse me. That was it, and she and he was like, I've done it. I thought someone's put her up for it. Yeah. She, she just had her coat on the back of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a bit boring. No, right, go, on about, go on about this. Who's this? I'm Robinson. <laughs> what is it, Helen? There's a thing. This I'm... is a quick change for me because I had all this clothes on underneath my caresses. In fact, it's the same shirt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. Trousers on underneath Mike's trousers. Lovely luster to that hair, though. Yeah. It's probably Paulie. I think I had the same wig for Ross. But you swept, did? swept the other way, yeah. it was, wasn't it? Not yeah. literally the same, but it was the same actual wig. Yeah. What, a Helix wig? It wasn't a Helix wig, but it was the same Oh, wig. I see, same wig. It was another wig of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You always had a copper rinse. Now, this was, uh, I said in the documentary, I don't know if they've cut it out, but <laughs> nerve wracking to do this, uh, yeah. not on. knowing what was going to happen with someone coming up on stage. I used to look forward to this every night. We were in the wings often just watching this because it was a real lottery. I was getting oh, it bike. always. I don't remember it ever not working, but it was sometimes it was hysterical, yeah, just depending crazy. on the kind of person you got, or yeah. dep- and, and particularly on their age. Well, the guy who's in here is great. He was petrified. Yeah, absolutely petrified. This kind of was based around the original. I remember one of the first jokes we had for it was the. I don't know why you probably had Steve on it said it was. It was kind of. Um, I had a boy come on stage last night, and it was like, oh, you could do that as a. The start of some as a list of innuendos. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you remember when we were at Canal Cafe and we did two sketches where um, you two were the boys and I was her lip, and we did one which is in set in a museum called Heritage. Big Heritage. 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 And the other right. one was going up to the top of a hill oh, and playing God, Blind Man's yeah. Puss. Which yes. Was Twelfth Night. And it became Malvolia. Yeah. So one of them had written a letter yeah, to yeah, her lip yeah. saying how much. Say it was Justin. Oh, just I love you, hair lip. Love Justin. Yeah. And it had been done by his it. friend. Oh, so Wasn't there was a whole lazo of leaving the yeah, <laughs> leaving the, la- the lazo of the leaving, leaving the, the notes <laughs> for him on a day. And, and on a I bench. came on with lederhosen yes. yeah, instead like, of oh, yellowed yeah. stockings, cross cut. Yes. Yes. It was lederhosen. So Ooh, Shakespeare everywhere. Shakespeare yeah. everywhere. Oh, literary jokes. But I think that <laughs> that notion of blind man's puff was where this began. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then. Uh, that was just a great first line, wasn't it? I made a boy come on stage. Made a boy come on stage last night. But have you talked about the night that it happened? Have you talked about that in the thing? I think it will be, yeah. Uh, we, we should actually speak. We did talk about yeah. it a little yeah. while ago. The other day. They'll probably uh, <laughs> have to talk about that elsewhere. But, uh, <laughs> if Pauline had a brother. <laughs> yeah. We've got... Um, the dino <laughs> doors to come up yet. <laughs> the, the, he said he's dying of doors. <laughs> oh, Judy. Yeah, Judy. Yeah, too. What was awful about this is sometimes they they couldn't put steps leading up to the stage, so uh, you had to disappear off. We had to go off and keep talking while we're going around this maze of corridors. And you say something. I'm in a dark dark passage. And then and then take the oh deadly. And whoever the person was had to come with me through this. (laughs) So there's just nothing happening. Not long now. (laughs) (laughs) Like spinal tap. It's terrifying. Yeah, that's what you want. You want them in a, sh- in a state of sheer terror. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they were a bit cocky and kind of one or two, them, but then yeah. the cocky ones were good because then you'd, you'd get extra lines out of it. Cocky? Mm. Um, like uh, you're a cocky one. <laughs> no, no, it was. Uh, for example, it might even be in here, but it's. Oh, uh, for that. When they'd start to undo their flies or like, oh, I yeah. know what's coming here. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. uh, what was You've it? Done this before. Don't uh, like don't flatter yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But did this expand throughout the tour? Did you add lines as you went? Yeah, as... well, there was bits I cut out as well. There was a bit about spinning him round and which way do you spin? And uh, One of the strangest things about this is that as people, there is nothing we hate more in the world than audience yeah, participation, absolutely. and yet here we are inflicting it on others. Yeah. Well, I, I'll tell you what it was. <laughs> we'd, we'd been to see... Um, 
or something or other and Steve Coogan was there Coogan and he, did, he, he just done do his it. major tour and he said the one thing you should do is a bit of audience participation yeah, he said on. just get him on stage put him on a chair do whatever get him down again but they'll love it so yeah. it was worth a risk the no but anything you can do that drops that fourth wall again and uh, yeah, 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 you're yeah, talking at them the, 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 you're actually there on stage well it was the thing I was most dreading because you can't rehearse it you cannot rehearse it at all but about two or three performances in, it became my favourite thing to mm. do. Oh, you could see you love doing it as well every time. I love doing it, that bit. <laughs> Party night. Party it's very hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but considering we didn't, I was saying, you know, we didn't have that much trouble with people no. acting up and doing... Uh, Playing the goat. Yeah. Hmm. I liked, have you said on the documentary when you were about, about getting the young lad up? Yeah. yeah we had all and did that. you say that about what his dad would have said to him afterwards, telling him off? <laughs> no. <laughs> no he, was my friend. Him. he must have seen something in there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> he must have been asking for it. <laughs> no, no, no. He was <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Hector <laughs> <laughs> Red. A couple of times I did choose girls accidentally. Did we ever talk? You didn't get them on stage. No, 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 no I'd realise. Okay. Was it like a crying game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 came to the sausage. Did we ever talk on any of them about how the naked chief that Steve used to wear his hair lip in Edinburgh 97 was, was like <laughs> a Turin <laughs> shroud? Oh, it's not the same one. Rag. No, no, it's not the same one. Well, we had yeah. on this tour, we had people looking after the costumes in Edinburgh. We didn't. Yeah, ourselves and therefore it stank. We had a plastic <laughs> bag <laughs> stuffed in. I sure it was terrible. And we used to have the piss machine, Harvey's <laughs> little. Uh, oh, yes. Which, which used, to leak, up. Yeah. It used to leak. Used to leak. Yeah. Apple juice everywhere. <laughs> Everything Sticky. stank of yeah. sweat and apple juice. It was awful. <laughs> but this we had. We were fresh as a daisy every day, weren't we? Yes. I do remember being amazed that the crew who travelled on another bus, obviously not on ours, um, uh, uh, weren't allowed to shower or anything till they got to the venue. They were like a band of strolling gypsies. Yeah. Yeah. But that's. I think that's why some people get into that life. Mm. But they don't have to wash. Wash. Yes, They'd rather not. They'd rather not. <laughs> well, Don, during <laughs> the break, Don Waste drove a bus to Spain like Cliff Richard, <laughs> and uh, he drove it. He had to drive it there, and then he came all the way back to Britain and thought, "Fuck this," and he went back again. On the way. Why? What for fun? He drove Just his bus. I know it's a big one and it smells funny. <laughs> But I can assure you... We should say, <laughs> actually... We should talk about them. Too. I don't think people realise in commentaries when it all goes silent for no reason. It's not because we all hate each other. It's because we've said something... It's been removed. Yeah. Been removed. So it's it's been libelous. That. So that's what's but been... That. We should also... We should say... Do you think people ever thought somehow they were holding a penis? Yes. Yeah. Did it ever occur to you? Some of them yeah, who, who was it who had the idea of using a real sausage and just putting it in a microwave so it was warm? <laughs> oh, I think that was Don. Well, no, it was Fritz from the uh, like from the gaffer from the TV show. Oh yeah. So it should have been a real warm sausage. So you, you just felt for that's a moment oh, that's a warm. spongy warmth. <laughs> spongy warmth. <laughs> Imagine what that would have been. Anyway, we must talk, like anyway, we must talk about game, our crew. Yeah. Passing around the grapes. We must talk about our crew because they were. Fantastic! And the yeah, show got yeah. us through. They were brilliant. Seven months of shows, um, led by Don, who is uh, a wonderful a guy to have on your side. Yeah, we uh, loved him. He's such a good lad. Well, we paid him the biggest tribute by making him into a character in the third series. That's right. Yeah. Screwing a golden apple into his head. Yes. As I said, we'd gone mad. He <laughs> <laughs> was called Don, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. There you go. And he had the same costume, didn't he? You wore yeah, what the, he wore, yeah. which was red shorts. And, and all the head. all the uh, things around the neck, the access things from different yeah. toys. The eye patch, however, <laughs> it was a little... Well, it was kind of it was just for fancy. Like, like he was a pirate. He was a pirate, yeah. yeah. So that was that, and we'd have plenty of time in the meantime. To what were you doing? I'd like to know what you two were doing. We were, just we were gossiping about yeah, stuff you. Did you go off stage Judy? and then come back on again? I mean, yes, didn't, no, no, I mean, did. no, I mean, to the dressing room and come back on again. No, I'd never right. dare fully get back to the dressing room. I used to go for a wee when I was before I was Mickey. Sure. Yeah, so that was a that was a built-in thing because I had time. Built-in wee. All. Yeah, so we were just ready and waiting to do Iris and Judy. It was a nice long little break. Mm. Iris and Judy, do you mean Diana? Diana Dawes and... <laughs> and what's happened to your face is Iris? What do you mean? You Someone's just glassed you in the mouth. Poor yeah. lady. Just yeah. <laughs> smashed, yeah. in, <laughs> smashed in the mouth instead of lipstick. Well, like a lot of things, it was slightly exaggerated. Well, here we go. Get that. 
At least I know it is. I know, I'm, all, I'm amazed. Oh, boy, is that, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Letitia <laughs> Dean. Letitia <laughs> Dean. No. When she comes back. She's not right, is that? Oh, no, she <laughs> fucking beard. <laughs> It's massive, it's huge! <laughs> well, Look, the thing is, like, you oh. appreciate now what a brilliant job the makeup artists do on the television because yeah. this is what it's like. This is what I like. It's the truth of it. Just lipstick on and a wing. I mean, that's, it's a friend of Barbara's, that, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Big Going to a hotel in Scarborough for a conference. <laughs> about. Yes, very much so. I mean, and no one's a sick bee. Explain the um, the genesis of this. This Gen is another isn't theatrical. Well, isn't yes, it? very clever. Yeah. clever. The maids, <laughs> hey, the maids, hey, the maids. Yeah. <laughs> there is yeah. a play. Is it? A, is he French? Yeah, sure The Maids by Jean Genet, mm-hmm. and uh, you think you're watching uh, to a madame and a uh, and a cleaner and a cleaner, and then an alarm clock sounds, and they both are cleaners. Uh, who, who role play whilst their uh, madame is out? Yeah. Yeah. One being the uh, and so it often is done it. by men, or sometimes done by men, or it's thought to be controversial when it's done. By Did men. any of the clever, clever critics pick up on it? I don't think so. It is, I think it's. I think it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's why they the maids. But do you know, remember the, the, the Blackpool show as well? I I walked across as Pauline as if I was the mistress yes, of the house. Yes, the madame. <gasps> yeah, I'm kind of Because it's mine, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, just yeah. footsteps like uh, potty yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at that lipstick. I've cut myself. Well, you, I knew it was the, the, the show. You're going to Rose Ed there, aren't you? <laughs> of course, and this is interesting because it mimics originally. Wasn't this going to be the other way around in the very beginning of the dawn of time? When you going to play Iris? Iris. Iris. There was a debate. I remember that very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't even remember that. And then it was decided not because you were too, because you were doing Stella. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. me now here doing this is yeah. just Stella, basically. Have we ever said that it. Iris is named after the um, lost creatures in Forbidden Planet? No, now is the time. The Maybe we have, but let's say it again. <laughs> the Krell. I always think of that. <laughs> so strange. I watched it the other night and thought, why? I would love to see what the Krell look like. But not? isn't that a great thing that you don't? Yeah, well, there you and go. what were you doing at this point, Steve? You had a bit of a break now. I was getting into Pauline, but I did have time to do a bit of lipstick right. for Pauline. Oh, Pauline. Pauline. Oh, he had a date with that boy with a sausage. Yes. <laughs> hey? <laughs> a date with that boy with a sausage. <laughs> 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 on, but it's hard to remember what you did. I know. I mean, well, we got. I mean, you to begin slumped, with, mostly. yeah. To begin with, it was an absolute, <laughs> yeah, kick bottom oh, scrum, yeah. whatever that phrase is, to get it in and get ready and be on ready for the next one. By the end, we had oceans of times, apart from a few times when it would never got any yeah. easier. Yeah, me from beneath into Papalazzo was always really one thing I could never manage was th- I was supposed to have there. a white beard for the for uh, Professor Titty Touch at the end for the Godman and I never had time for that yeah yeah. Uh, but it was original. I mean, we just thought we'd never get we'll never do this in time and then after a few weeks it just became oh, just it? loads of time Easy. like pit stops well, I'm glad we resisted the urge to get other people in and uh <laughs> We're both men. I like the way you adopt yeah. a man's voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like uh, John Inman. Men's wear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, brother. <laughs> so well, that was got... a good spin on the... Yeah, yeah it's it's clever. Like, they were. There, there he is. There she is. <laughs> Here he is. The clownfish. <laughs> Now this is what Paulie's like in the film. Yeah, yeah. Finding, <laughs> finding Nemo. It looks there like you've got those lips you get in crackers. You know, plastic yeah. lips. Oh, it looks like, like, tea. What what like a kazoo. What was that one in the band in the Muppets? Just lips and blonde yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fish with oh, lipstick. Oh, size noodles in Return of the Jedi. Oh, very much. Yeah. But I always enjoyed uh, having a go at the audience here, and there was never enough time to do it really because. Uh, had to get shot apart from the one night mark when, oh. when the gun didn't Thank sound. God. Yeah, but well, we we uh, I forgot mentally. about the, the who shot Pauline the sound. Yeah, yeah. the sound. Yeah. The gun didn't sound, and uh, so I had to just like fall down oh, to, to silence. <laughs> Someone <laughs> shouted "bang!" I think it was Oliver from oh. the back. Bang! And then Mark, very cleverly at the yeah. end, when when the voiceover says, uh, "Where did you get the gun?" Where did you get the gun? He says, I "What gun? I use poison." I use poison. Uh, <laughs> did I get a laugh? They did. They did. They did, yeah. did. I think they knew. What... <gasps> Shocking, isn't it? Now, I hoped that people might genuinely thought, think I've been shot by a crazed fan. Look, there he is. That's done. Uh, they done. just laughed. Do you remember? Can we talk about how Don used to build his part? There? I know they became. He had to say lines in there, didn't they? He had to say, "Cut the lights," and it became a huge. Beach. Didn't we have to sit him down and say, could it just be that you yeah. just that you yeah. just come on and do the... I think he was chasing and the next night it was the same again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Johnny! 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get your soliloquy. fucking finger out your ass. It was a soliloquy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. The Johnny soliloquy. Get your thumb out your bum, your finger out your ass. <laughs> you want the weakest link? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how lips weird. Yeah, but, but, but it is that Robinson. Did people boo you as Ross? Uh, I was hated. I always hated. They want the voice of reason. And then we segue into egregious. Yeah. yeah. It was clever. Yeah. <laughs> I remember sitting, well, as soon as we had this idea of doing this, you it's know, the anyway. show, sitting in a park and thinking, what? how can we take the material we've already together. got? Yeah. Yeah. I love that as a Can you do that again for please? it? I love how <laughs> the blue and the, the yellow is nice. I think it's very well thought out. It's good, Hill, it? uh, did for the, the live show. These kind of, they were on their little revolves, weren't they? You'd, that yeah. was like, the, the flip side of that was the Dentons. Yeah. Think, but they were heavy, weren't they? Yeah. I think because he was a TV and is a TV designer and film designer, uh, he's used to building up with these There was one flats. bizarre thing, wasn't there, with, with uh, Hilary Briss when they actually... The brought whole counter. A, a marble-topped steel counter, <laughs> which would literally have taken ten men <laughs> to go on stage. Like four grand yeah, we had to say no to it, didn't yeah. we? Send it back. Is that a chestnut rinse you've got there? Oh, it's rinses. <laughs> it's like Rona's TV yeah. Rod, Ross, A raspberry yeah. I think it's the lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd sometimes laugh here a bit, wouldn't we? Yeah, <laughs> more so when CC Smith arrived. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, yeah. Well, we we'll would, get to yeah. that. That's a clown <laughs> fish. I was a clown. <laughs> it was a clown. So, um, what were you? You were just getting into um, Mickey, weren't you, Mark? At the back. Yeah. Uh, did you have teeth? Yeah. You had your Mickey teeth. I remember coming on without them once, and it was a real. It was like a straight. It was like very hard to carry on the shoes. I just went. <laughs> No, they just had to stick them out. Why? What happened to them? I just forgot. Forgot to put them in. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to say some other words to you now. And I want yeah, yeah, I do. We used to get pens thrown on stage and stuff, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah. 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 Not knickers, pens. And they'd always <laughs> uh, shout Mickey Love. That's the one yeah. thing. Yeah. I think your name is Mickey Love, don't they? They don't realise it's Michael, Michael. Mickey Michael, and Michael, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey, yeah, Michael. 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 That's right. Michael, Michael, Mickey would get a great cheer when he came on. Yeah. It was fantastic. You're cruel to him though, aren't you? Smashing his hat in. I know. You shake them. If they still don't work, you But I was saying the other day that, that that actually gave birth to that whole section where it was, uh, you know, it's not Dick Whittington and all that. Yeah. Just because of the reaction from yeah, this. Yeah, Dick Whittington. That wasn't in the original Another script. Another one you had that were put down was the save your breath and you needed to blow your girlfriend up when you get mm. home. Yeah, that, that was. That was a good one. It was in <laughs> the back pocket. <laughs> From I've, that book. I've if, been trying to think. Is it from a book of Eccles? If needed. Eccle put downs. Eh? Is it from a book of yeah. Eccle put downs? Eccle no, put downs. No, no, I think but he came up with it. You well, know, need one. Someone had said it, hadn't they? Wasn't, wasn't Eccle put downs one of the names for Royce and Macy? <laughs> <laughs> Eccle, no, put no, down. No. Eccle put down. That's good. Uh, now, shall we say we're working on another tour to be doing at the well, end of yes, this? Yes, because we'll be, we'll be confronted by exactly these same problems. No, if you, if you've bought this in 2005, then you can come and see us from October to December doing a new live show. Yes. If you bought it after that, I don't know how dated that sort of sounded a bit. Right, oh. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. I think that's but then nice. they could go and buy it on yeah, DVD yes. if they've not caught it live. It's true. Yes. Yeah, we don't. Well, what do we do? We'll see. Well, we can't now talk about that. Look, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love it when I used to make you laugh. It's such a rare thing. That's a new phenomenon: advanced commentary, Phenomen predictive commentary, <laughs> predictive, predictive commentary for things that haven't happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about them now. Too old. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. It's literally oh, like spears into oh. the eyes. He is horrible. I mean, she's a monster. She, no, she deserves no. it. Yes. <laughs> and still refusing <laughs> to accept that Pauline's a monster. No. I feel sorry. After ten years. Do I look like? Did I do Rishi? the stumble? Of course, a terrible. This is now, of course, will lose its poignancy because very soon Deirdre Rashid will once again be Deirdre Bala. Really? Back? Yeah. She's marrying Ken. Oh yeah. Oh well. And uh, is it not going to be Deirdre Rashid Bala? <coughs> no, she, she put Samia behind her, she said the other day. Um, <laughs> I forgot we did that. Do you remember that when we did it in Manchester? Yeah. That was a particularly marvellous thing, the, the Deirdre stuff. <laughs> That's the bum. Was. Yeah, but we had... Um, Stick the bum in my face. <laughs> we had a lot of the curry cast in, didn't yeah, we, in yeah. Manchester? Oh, I remember going back, yeah. taking them backstage. It was, it was the most exciting thing. <laughs> yeah. Steve, Steve McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. Hey, no, did Curly's we? wife. Curly's wife. Oh, it was lovely. The policewoman, yes. Hey. Um, big reaction to that. Look at that. Chris Bisson. Yeah. 
who blanked me when I saw him some no. months later. No! As if we'd never met, just before I'm a celebrity. No. And, um... <laughs> they, they all will blank him on that. But I can't remember who it was. <laughs> and another girl... Yeah, but she'll be oh, upset. Georgia Taylor! Georgia, Georgia Taylor. yeah, of course, Sorry. yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were, it was in Blackpool, and uh, she said she was absolutely terrified of us coming backstage. <laughs> She was really nice, I thought. She, she was quite trendy, wasn't she? Yeah. Was she who was it in currently that wanted Benice to actually marry them? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm speaking it was, in Manchester. No, it was like, Curly's wife and him off EastEnders, Perry Fennick. What does he play? Oh, Billy? Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. A, got Millie, a real life couple. Oh, right. They wanted Benice to do, yeah, do what, the She service. wanted Tubbs to give her away yeah. and Benice to do the actual stuff. And then Papa Lazarus to run off with her. Yeah. But. It never Can happened. I just say at this point <coughs> that in um, one of the test screenings for the film, The Leaving Gentleman's Apocalypse, June the 3rd, <laughs> um, when, when people were asked what their favourite bit was, or least favourite, someone had put... Um, the village rocker and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> By the dog with the <laughs> 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 The village rocker, I love that. Village rocker. <laughs> well, you've got a leather jacket on, you can well, see why it's true. I hate that God we could source these uh, plastic hats. Oh, because that's true. We needed about yeah. 120 of them. Yeah, because they went, didn't they? Yeah. The Wizard and the Knights. There's another thing that someone didn't like about our film. <laughs> the Wizard <laughs> and the Knights. <laughs> that's not there, is it? Was, it? Yeah, it's going to be meaningless to these people. I know, I know, but you, you will know when you yeah. see it. Yeah, go and see, see it June the, the 3rd. Wizard. Come on. Little Riddles June the 3rd. <laughs> 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 I like that hair. Do you remember at one stage there was a we we talked we, we said we'd actually write the third series while we were on tour. Yeah. <laughs> but in fact, all the best we could do was to wake up in time to do. All the show. we did on on that tour bus because we had to drive from hours and hours and hours every day through the night. Because I'm remembering now, the tour was originally scheduled, and there's a geography to it. You start in the south and you work your way north. Mm. But because it was selling so well, they added Probably. extra dates. Yeah. So we'd be like o Oxford to um, Glasgow, Glasgow. <laughs> stuff yeah. like that. We watched a lot of films. We watched the we watched the Rambo trilogy. What about talking yes. about the That's very ridiculous. first drive before you had a bus? Do you remember there was a oh, mini bus? The, empty, oh. the, first the empty ice cream van. Yes, yeah. that was unbelievable. You know, like in uh, Cook the Thief when they get pushed in the back of that van. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that, but without the meat. I remember what? saying goodbye to you know to Alison and, and my Carol, baby Carol and, Carol as well Carol yeah was and saying it'll be here in a minute looking out the window and this Jeez. horrible <laughs> transit man it See, was I thought some gypsies are moving in opposite us <laughs> it was and a clever it ruse. To be our tour they, were try, they were trying it on three chairs they could push bolted it. to the bottom of, a, of an iron box it was like Terrible. a happy van. And it had quality street rappers. This is no joke, this actually. This is true as well. This is absolutely true. Sellotaped over the lights to give an ambient <laughs> effect. <laughs> Red cellophane sweet wrappers. What's that? Blue and uh, quality street rappers. And the driver <laughs> had gone out and got us a. He knew we liked horrors and he got us the film The Mummy. You know yeah, the film The Mummy? Yeah, the film The Mummy. Um, but, you know, rare for us, we actually put our collective foot down and said we really need a proper a bus because we're going to be doing this for a while. And uh, they gave in. We got the Britney Spears bus, didn't we? we did. work. Huh? She was still in it. Well, there was us three and Emma Cope, usually. Emma Cope mm. was our tour manager who came everywhere and organised everything for us. We had a lot of instant meals. We did. Yeah. There she is. <clears throat> what? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Miss. No, that is a. That's uh, like a. Did Gerald Scott That's a cry you make up. Like that. <laughs> that is the crowd. That's <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> Iris is halfway there. I love Look, the they're hair. They're disgusted in the audience. I love the hair. It's the wardrobe body, though. <laughs> <I love laughs> The hands, look at the hands, it's like ocean. I think the genius of it is the lime jacket. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> and the cream pants. Now, of all the bits where you thought, God, I, I'm going to laugh here, this face off. <laughs> <laughs> This had been building up forever, though. There was a Pauline Benice look, face off. And then it turned slowly to the audience. It's unbelievable. <laughs> What is that? That's just the reaction to the C word <laughs> bit, isn't it? Because I used to say you're taking my laugh there. Yeah, I did. I've got my laugh on piss off you big fat C U N T. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can, they've said it on here, you can say it. Alright. It's an AD. People are laughing at that. Look, and, they're and he used to take it. Look at that. <laughs> Look, it's like nineteen oh one. It's a silent movie. <laughs> silent movie acting. <laughs> <laughs> a damsel. What is it? A damsel. <laughs> What am I, Claire Short? What's this? It's uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> like a Melier film. It's really An funny. Aeroplane. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Go that in there. Skating. Ridiculous. <laughs> 
The voice is wrong. You can't see. Oh God. This is really cleverly written, like all the Shakespeare illusions. Oh, no, you know, yeah. The power struggle between these. And what does it become? A panto. Just yeah. Literally good. a panto, which is correct. Well, that's what we're doing for our next yes. tour. No, Don't spoil it. Get it's used to this, so this level of performance. It's been said already. Well, on the other bit we talked about. Oh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> what were you doing then? Gastro Brett. Deirdre Rashid. Oh, right. oh, yes. It's like you were catching. Ken, Ken. <laughs> catching shrimps. <laughs> I don't have to listen to any more of this shit. <laughs> oh, just, just vaguely laughing all the way through. Jesus, oh, how oh, oh, oh. yeah. used to pinch you yeah, breasts, as he went by, yeah, yeah, nipping and stuff. <laughs> 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 and just what do you mean exactly? But I always... In New Italian, look at this. It's so it's like it's astrical. So they turn laughing. into a musical. It's like Mae West. Like <laughs> an ABBA video. <laughs> Mae <Bay> West. <laughs> Why don't you come up and see? <laughs> <laughs> it's Betty Boop. It is Betty Boop. I think we've got to get these two on stage again together. Look, it's good. <laughs> I love that hair, that black, oh, the sleek black, and I like, you I like the grip as well. Take someone's yeah. eye out with yeah. it. It is so Dick Emery, that. <laughs> it, is. it was I mean, good to do proper nip. slaps, wasn't it? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> and we used to just laugh into each other's know, mouths. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, yeah, no. you know. yes. Use a pen on me, use a pen on me! <laughs> And poor Mickey's seen it, it's really clever. <laughs> that's why he's done that's it. Why, and that's why he kills it. I love scratching the images. <laughs> it's like Carlo. <laughs> Use a pen on me, that's so dirty. That, if you think about it for a second. <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking about this the other day, the whole pen thing with Pauline. There is something in it, isn't there? Not deliberate, but... You know. Well, she's, a, she's a lonely 48-year-old 48 48 woman. Yes. <laughs> and she's obsessed with these pens. Yes. Well, I think there's something in that. There is. Yeah. Especially those ones with smiley faces on. Or yeah. the swap shop pens. Anyway. It was Mickey, see, it's unlikely. It's a real <laughs> proper... Um, who done it, isn't it? It is. Uh, people were baffled. The diseased well always got a good laugh. That yeah. was a good joke. No. <laughs> is that a pub? No. <laughs> There's Dr. Carlton doing the video. I don't, know if, you, I don't know if you know, this is me doing the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, Carlton. Remember we had to go like the day before to a sound recording yeah. That was hard work, wasn't it? Wasn't it? it all, all the voices yeah, ourselves yeah, yeah. with yeah. Oliver, our German, efficient German um, sound operator. And we were really... We had to carefully... We went on until the, 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 the night. We did, yeah. Like, the early hours, because we had no time. Big really. project, that, yeah. that tape. All those intros and all those bits of music. And the big woman. Through, the big, and big woman, yeah. Which is an I extra... Had to redo that. I couldn't quite believe yeah. I had to do that. Some of Edward's bits. Yeah. Bits. Yeah, all that. Mm. <laughs> that! <laughs> Charette! <laughs> uh, you get a BAFTA for that, these This days. is the musical, <laughs> isn't it? This bit. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Well, this whole section is, you know... The equivalent. Well, we know he did one, we we're not allowed to show it. <laughs> yeah, of course, sure. the thing that's not in this. I, sometimes, I used to hate that, because sometimes, yeah, sometimes they'd, <laughs> they'd, they'd find me guilty. Like, yeah, sometimes they would. The stone-hearted. That's a bit we used, a bit of that audience for Series 3, when Jeff yeah, had his dream. that's and, right, yeah. Yeah, when he's performing as Jackie Mason. Yeah. 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 Jackie Mason. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's... Do you remember the night that Don actually got that phone to work and rang was you up? Was he speaking to you? Yeah, yes. What was yeah. he saying? <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, it's Don here. <laughs> <laughs> you were just pissing yourself. We had no oh, idea. Oh, God. Going. That's funny. The phone really working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really threw me. And we had a little thing about Trisha, didn't we, Nia? Pick well, yourself off, yeah. It was a, a reference back, a refer yeah. Back reference. Springer's taken over, did you see? Is he? He's the slot, yeah. Oh. You'd think they'd have had enough now. Spring is taken over from Trisha. Trisha's slot. Yeah. I've got eye makeup on there, you can see. Oh, it's a good look, that actually. It's like somewhere, like Penelope Wilton. We've just done this <coughs> again, of course, for um, Comic Aid. We did. With Miranda Richardson. Miranda Richardson playing in, in the, Mary the, role. Role, the role of Mary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so people are half knowing he's coming. Yeah, I think so. Well, people would, as you know, some people can see this more than once, don't they? Oh, so yeah, yeah. I, remember, be, uh, I can vividly remember being off stage there, and every night. There would be a kind of, there's like an orchestration thing. It was like Reese with his hands outstretched, waiting for the moment yeah, of the, calm the, the to, to actually say, because the worst thing would, would just be get yeah, cut off. You be know. very careful yeah. about where it came in. And the whole thing, of course, with Papa was how on earth are we going to do a, a black face it, quickly for once? Menstrual face. Once again, yeah. And it was really hard to work out, thanks, Steve. 
how we were going to get it in and out so fast. And in the end, it was just a mask. A mask, yeah. Without it works great. It does. And, yeah. and without the, um, it doesn't really matter that the, the eyes aren't white. It just kind of works. Yeah, but they are white. We didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. in my face. Yeah. yeah. yeah, okay. see, yeah. And look at this, this strange sort of move. From a distance, it looked really good. In fact, yeah. the biggest place we did was Birmingham, wasn't it? Mm. NIA, that was five, 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 five and a half thousand people. Yeah. And I went to sit in the furthest seat you could possibly sit. It was ridiculous. I could see clouds. It was, <laughs> it was so huge. big. Look at all these <laughs> movements. Oh, where have they come from? I'm sure we built a lot of things in over yeah. the months. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like Kabuki with the mask. <laughs> <laughs> <Kabuki. laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you remember we did uh, Nottingham Ice Rink as well the day before that? And yeah. the ice froze all Actually the equipment. Free, yes. And the lights went haywire. Mm. <laughs> In the Les middle of a sketch, you'd have blackouts. And, uh, oh, no. Those are the things you could never laugh for. <laughs> yeah. Les Dawson there. Do you remember? We used to laugh a lot in this. We did. And I never did. <laughs> and and for, for ages. And, and then, because I used to say the same line. Then Absolutely. Very yeah. late on, I, I changed it to he'll shit on you and set you on fire. Yeah. yeah. And it was like a grenade. Completely <laughs> Yeah. Because you were very good. You never. And then, of the course, book. there was what you say, Steve, in your little aria. We used to do different jingles. That We, we realised that got quite a nice laugh. So, uh, what else? <laughs> what <do>? is this? <laughs> Every word has got Everything a movement. All right. Yeah. Everything. All right. <laughs> I'm going to Thailand. But I think we to Thailand. <laughs> Didn't we have to? <laughs> to Thailand. Oh, actually, no, I remember <coughs> weren't we, that. Weren't we advised not to use them for this? We couldn't use the jingles, right, yeah. yeah. So we probably can't say them even, but... Uh, it was it was advertised, it was like advert jingles, wasn't it? What's Look at Mark. It's good, isn't it? It's a Morlock. <laughs> <laughs> Great sci-fi tradition. <laughs> <laughs> this. The way the hair just completely covers it's the like, eyes. Um, it's like an old English sheet. <laughs> <laughs> like the one who, where they clock in and out and fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf and the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Digby. Yeah. Oh, yeah he's back oh, here he comes. Are the steps on there? Is, it, uh, that, is that just the last night? I can't remember. Well, I go beyond the yeah. uh, one time I did. Didn't I think I? it's the last night. Oh, no, oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, Explain this to us. We God, it's impossible. <laughs> Piccolo. So multi-layered. <laughs> you <laughs> <want> selection? <laughs> What's <laughs> Mark's face doing? Well, I'll tell you why, because when we did it on TV, I had to <laughs> pull this face. <laughs> what is he doing? I pulled this face that that didn't show up. And it was very good. It was like a sort of clam. So I, I couldn't be bothered. So I just go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a monkey dressed up. It's like Jeff. Yes. Did you think about what you did with those movements, or was it just spontaneous? I think they got more set. So I, I was able to do yeah, them. Yeah. It's nothing worse than thinking you have to have a, a thing that might change every night right. that you could have all the, you know everything to play for and not have it in your mind before yes. you because you can't think of it on the spot. You've right. got to kind of Dixie Licks, you see, you could say that. Yeah, Dixie Licks was good. Yeah. <laughs> but you really threw me this night because you do get into a habit of saying yeah, the same thing and, and you knowing went. you're going to get a laugh on it, and then yeah, yeah. We, we we couldn't say it. Yeah, it's funny because knowing you're being filmed, you want to kind of do it as you've always <laughs> done it, but you want to give it a bit. Of Can I just say, life. what is this? <laughs> Strangest <laughs> thing. And the most popular character yeah. on one of them. How did that come about? Bizarre. It wasn't like this when it was popular. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if someone said, "Do you want to come and see a show tonight?" And they, didn't <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know anything about no, it. Very strange. Impenetrable, I would have thought. Yeah. Very strange. And this Bernice, with that music, uh, which is one of the first. Yes, Moonlight yes. Shadow. Yeah. Always the introduction to Bernice, which is lovely, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow Moonlight Shadow, I love this sketch. I mean, it's not oh, quite Bernice, oh, but it's oh. funny. This was one of the ones we used to laugh a lot with, wasn't it? Cut the beard on him! No, I'm not joking. I, um, this, oh, only last night, I found a programme called Morbid Obesity. A whole no, show. it's still relevant. Prescient. <clears throat> but this was a sketch that was written for Canal Cafe. Yeah. It, was a, it was only ever done at Canal Cafe. No, we did the radio, I think, didn't we? Uh, did we do yeah, yeah, it? Pam, yeah, yeah. Pam, is, she throws herself <laughs> off building. Yes, yes, you're right, yeah. Look at the leg that's been Look at the hastily <laughs> thrown over <laughs> rug. Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I love the uh, neon of it's beneath. Yes. And the purple was a nice touch. Yeah. Yes. It's funny to think, isn't it? Because she started as like a, a, 
a TV. Agony, obviously, is based on Denise, uh, Robinson. Denise Robinson. And, um, Denise and then Robinson. for the radio series, we put her in this radio thing. And then the series, she just suddenly became a vicar. Yes, we lost the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. And, now and now it's back, back full circle. To having a kind of Although she's retained her vicarish. She's yeah. a vicar, but also does on the Don't side. Yeah. Like, Which uh, is plausible. Yeah, it is. In you this know, day and age. Like Anne an Archer. What we haven't set. explored with Denise is, the, is all her romantic novels as well. Yes. Let's do that. For which I won a prize. For which I won a prize. Uh, the net she's like a sea devil it is another one of our she's actually been causing a trauma <laughs> <laughs> I've just dragged up Oof. it's the greasy hair really? that I like I know mm. and I love the, eh, those eh, things eh, were great the two, two sticks is the genius <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you remember the particular whatever it was Kilroy or, or, or long ago that, that had the, the huge woman with that hair and she said, Oh no, she's just a gym. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, was fun, it? it was The voice yeah. was definitely hers. Look at the dainty shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very real. There's something very poor kind about yeah. that. Yeah. That's uh, true. Mrs. Tiggy Wink again. Yeah. Yeah. But she's, um. <laughs> she's very, um. <laughs> Well, she's happy. She's, she's happy, happy in her own skin. Yeah. I mean, people might knock this sketch. Well, I remember some, um, someone reviewing and saying anyone who finds the idea of morbid obesity funny needs the serious help yes. mm. which of course is true <laughs> yeah. but I always remember uh, a lot of people like the fact they think Bernice is speaking the truth yes oh, my mum used to say she used to say uh, well it's what you really want to say isn't it? yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's my marvellous mouthpiece for all that <laughs> the detail of the, I was, well I was watching a show the other night yeah. called uh, Super Size Kids and there's this kid on, he's, uh, he's 13, oh, I and saw he that. is 25 stone. Oh, and he was on a, pro- on a thing, in a programme with this trainer, and he was putting weight on, and he was going, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on anything. And they followed him around, and he was just in burger place, going, rah, rah, rah. And then they just had to say, look, you've got to stop eating. That's what it is. The there detail of eating the margarine with a wooden, with a wooden spoon, spoon. Yeah. Yeah. comes from a killer. Brian Forbes's autobiography. <laughs> His memory of being an evacuee and being and, and when there was no food and that's what he had to do yeah. and come no coming down and, and being starved by the woman who was looking after them and she was eating and they, he came down in the middle of the night and no. found her eating margarine <laughs> with a spoon. That's all I I never knew that. Yeah. Do you know remember the, the last one was, when, um, when you sit down and you ba- actually bounce off and your wig yeah. comes off? Yes. <laughs> the other thing was mini Kievs wasn't it? Whole yes, that was a real whole thing, bag wasn't of mini Kievs in one city. Yes, mini Kievs. <laughs> because that's the thing that, that this well, is green, whenever you have one of these documentaries well, green, it's like the guy the big guy who was always on he was on Nicky Campbell yes, yeah, the yeah. fattest man or Britain's fattest man who said know, yeah. he'd been trying to diet until and then they what stopped it was they brought the chunky Kit Kats out <laughs> tell the truth <laughs> what was that think, that's no different to this that man the what was the man called with the the, uh, the oh, tape on his yeah, head who was not as fat as Jack's he wanted creation. to be Jack's creation yeah <laughs> Oh, whatever he did that in Rotherham. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was uh, Oh, if it's Gates Stone at Morley. That's right. <laughs> yes. nah. I mean, not like Don't believe Stone. that. Uh, Jack's creation. Omelie, omelie, omelie. Omelie, omelie. Omelie, omelie. Remember, we used to have a bit, I think we cut it in the end when I said, I used to pursue what names they used to call you. Yeah, and yeah, what, yeah. What else did they call you? One of them was, ah, Tom's Island, Lady Dom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it used to die. Yeah, it died of death. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Tell me again. Tell me again. But you can understand. Boy, I used to used to go for it. Boy, I used to. Cruel, so cruel but accurate. Yeah. There we go. Gone. And all this while, Matt, you had, you were getting into. I was Him. squeezing into my Schulmachen report. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is really now. This is the thing of the. I mean, in, uh, Mark always says he can't dance, <laughs> and here he is it's getting. The proof. <laughs> it's the proof. Yeah, yeah. He's getting three or four minutes. No, that's uh, true. Pure, uh, pure. physical comedy. Yeah. But it was. Um, it's another rod for my back. You were and fucking doing trip, things. This. Yeah. <laughs> was it kind of a test for yourself? It was, I think, psychologically, and oh. then, then the singing as well. It was a big do. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Must have been going through some trauma at the time. Stretched ourselves. But uh, I used to. Re- this was I great. What's a really funny idea it, that we it's would It's another do. one like the hair lip, where you couldn't until you got out in front of the audience yeah. on the first night. We never Didn't really know. knew what That's you were going to do. I remember sitting down like with the chinry. It's like, what can we do? We we can't afford an animal. What we're going to do? So it was like thinking laterally, and the thing with this was, well, what if Les was a success, and then undermining it. Yeah. So it was all yeah, he's actually finally off. got his recording contract, and then brilliantly executed. <laughs> and the only, I think, only once it didn't work. 
and the firework went off, but there was no noise. Oh no, it was the noise of that yeah. firework, and it was like, it was, it was so yeah, crucial. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it was great, that kind of the head back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember? I like the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang wings. That. Yeah. This music we liked. We used yeah, it because we used, we used to, to have it as our play on music. That's right, yeah. The Canal Cafe. Sure, Mitch. And we used yeah. to do a dance. To yeah, it. we did. Yeah. I would come in the dressing room. And it's German. It's German porn music. Yeah, yes. That's great. Mm. Something about it. What could it they be doing to this? <laughs> it was a title track of a film called Sh- right. of Schumacher Report. Is that something in there, Matt? Right, so he's actually my cock. It's that cucumber that he is. In fact, a plastic banana. I'm afraid. Is it? Yeah. Blowing it now. But this was uh, also. I remember being in the outside. What did it look like? Les McEwen or Maisie so Giroux? Nice. <laughs> in the outside broadcast van, and listen, Carol Abbott was the vision mixer who did yeah. the shirt TV series. Yeah. But she worked on all these seventies. Oh, okay. Shows, oh, so she, she knew she was calling the, the shot. She was going, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Great. It's, it's like Mike Mansfield. That. Mike Mansfield, yeah. yeah. What was it called? Give the, Give the music. And before that, um, Razzmatazz or. <laughs> 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 it's a really funny <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, and now here we return to the Tubbs and Edward story. Do we? Is this the end? Yeah. No. We cut out Chris. Yeah. And the Dentons. Yeah. We cut out the Dentons. Well, no one wants to see us pissing again. Uh, no, they could still see it, but. It's an extra. It's on as an extra. It's on as an extra because, it, again, it was from the TV show, and yeah. yeah, okay. Are we going to talk about those separately then? I thought this was going to be put back. We'll take this out. Yeah. I thought this was going to be put back together. Well, people know that we could only comment on. We have commented on those sketches before because they've been done elsewhere. That's true. But not live. Look, so this was a little bit of our VO just to get us back into Tubbs Neighbourhood Road. Give us a chance to get the costumes on. And She's the, enjoying it. And the whole lot wheeled on. <laughs> I used and to. When finally, I, the show. when I came on, I almost think, who do they think I am? But they were clapping the set. Oh, yeah. maybe. Oh, <laughs> literally, well. Oh, it's all, it's all solved now. I had no idea. I just think. So all it was. Yeah. It's a really good nose up there. Look at all the piss there yeah. on the stage. Yeah. Not Better genuine, but. <laughs> all the apple juice, I should say. <laughs> but that so was thing. What was the line? Tiggy Winkle. Yeah, that line that you got wrong. Uh, uh, a couple of times it was like. Oh, it's... yeah, it was. Yeah. Strange, yes. And I, I ended up saying. Didn't they? Or didn't whenever the response was, yeah, you yes, the pen. yes, yes. And I remember your face just going, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't oh, I'll have to listen to it yeah. to know, but uh, yeah. Such a character, with all your hair in that hat. Like those it. Alvin's teeth. Alvin's head. teeth, yes. Yeah. And also Glenn's teeth from 99. They've they've been very useful to me, those teeth. Yeah. I like that jumper, the zip up thing. And the wind blowing through those. It's a much bigger shop. It is, and foot and face on. It's like the difference between TV Daleks and film Daleks. <laughs> yes, the man and lady who lived here before. Were How does she know to be? Um, yeah. It's convoluted. Furtive, it is. Mm. And yet satisfying. Mm. Yeah. Usually satisfying. <laughs> convoluted. But quite moving as well. Yeah. <coughs> I remember haunting. watching haunting. it. Haunting, it's like Thunder Rock. The, the end images are really... Uh, the end is awful. He gets sent to hell. Why is that again? Why? What's he done differently? I know. It's all that bloody well, sympathy <laughs> Pauline shit again. <laughs> it's just, um, no. It, it is. is. Because it Tub, is. No, Tub steps in and says oh. at the end... Oh, yeah, he wants to kill she him. She says, actually, she says yeah. No, then, so then it's like Jason the Argonauts, last minute, then. Yeah, but that's not mean. enough to wipe away years well, of it, sin. Yeah. It oh, is like because in Christian theology it is. If yeah. you learn yeah. your lesson, that's what we're saying yes. to the children. If you learn your the lesson... children. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you, you know, you uh, repent you your you sins, repent. you can go to heaven. It's true. Oh, Pay your thousand quid. Yeah, you all right. Oh, no, the other way around. You're in. I love the way that Edward's wing appears to be kind of sitting on know, top yeah, of about place. four others. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your lines written on there, Mark? I know, I you're reading it. Why? What <laughs> good people! It's so <laughs> different, there's something no. strange about it all. No, I don't understand why really it doesn't add up because she's we didn't guilty even sin. Give she's, she's not. Anyway. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it this is nice it, it's a climate. I used to think, I remember once saying to Steve, when do you feel like you can really relax? Um, and he'd say, kind of, possibly about, you know, Pauline. You know, and he said, when do you, and <laughs> the last sketch. <laughs> 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 we had to reprise before this. I used to really look forward to this because it was just like a, whew, yeah. Yeah. What about, it's great, the moment mm. when he put, turns the gun, the crossbow on. Oh, yeah. terrifying. Really, yeah. Uh, 
But you would enjoy doing the shows, wouldn't oh, you? Oh God, yes. It was just always <laughs> yeah. there, was, there were lots of technical things that were always a. It was never a question of just never yeah. a question of just breezy. There was always so much. No, the first wrong. few, that we'd always, we'd always have notes, wouldn't we, about yeah, certain yeah. things? And there were things like I remember we used to often come on for Voodoo Lady and uh, put have a, a signal for dead behind yeah, the eyes. Yeah, we just put a, a hand across our face to signify that we were dead behind the eyes and not really there that night. Often happened. <laughs> No, Edward! Oh, yes, he realises. So it's a kind of Christ-like gesture. It is. So one of self-sacrifice. Mm. There's a deep message in this. He's not Thank you, local. Jeremy. <coughs> Finally, I relent. He always got the outsider's view. He shouldn't be allowed to you know. go to hell, though. Although it was good to use no, it's just, door, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great image. Well, it, <laughs> just just a what door. did we do when we went in Drury Lane? With Edward, he just went, went through, backwards. He just went backwards went through, 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 through the, the, blue, the smoke yeah, out. Right, right. And the um, well, this is true. The music's great. When no, when we weren't in Oh, sorry, yeah. When we go to heaven, it's fun. Well, that's coming to Barana, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, which you used for um, thing, didn't you? For um, death warmed up. Death warmed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. Reggie went to heaven. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Look at this now. I mean, the whole conception of this was just obvious. It was going to be big, you know, and yeah, fill a yeah, fill a big yeah, theatre, yeah. which is. Uh, what you need. What did I say? Oh, oh, it's it's very sad. Hmm? This, this is a bit like um, the end of the film, isn't it? Don't <laughs> say that. What on earth are you saying? Oh, oh, I haven't said what. I haven't oh, said. Oh, it doesn't oh, matter, does it? That's better. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> And I even like without it. a beard, they knew it was God. Yeah, it's the kinks in the hair. But why are you doing the devil horns with no, the no, fingers? No, 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 that's, st- that's Christ. Christ, Christ just does that in pictures. Does he? Straight, yeah. It does. That's it's the stra- devil horns from no, no. Kerrang! <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jeremy oh, have that, done that. it. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't remind me. <laughs> it's, it's in. It's Christian symbolism. Is it? Mm. For what? In, I've, got no, I've got two fingers. It's in the Da Vinci <laughs> Code, it's weird. I just want to say, this isn't like the end of the film. So don't think you it's being spoiled for you. Don't ever mention it. Let him forget. Yeah, I'll go. They'll, they'll be thinking of it. Join us! Look at that. Look at that effect and everything. Laughing. The light is turned on. You know, a stand up might tell some really good jokes, but they don't do that. They don't get that look. <laughs> you know what those lights are called? No. Super Audience troopers. Brightness. Oh. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Why? Because because they're so powerful to yeah, shine at it. Blind. Are you fellas? It does well. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm building up the idea oh, that man. I'll be going. Oh. What? And then you see, like, you're like, on journey. Myself, There's yeah. nothing for you here. It's, it's chilling and it is. Right? There's nothing for you here. Yeah. It's clever. Monstrous. God. <laughs> did you have to look down to check he was yeah, still on your backwards? I think probably I did. I got used to where it was. Mm. I didn't want me nose being clipped. Some people out there thinking that's what happens to Ronnie Corbett. Yeah. <laughs> that well, looks great. Doesn't that look great? Yeah, it's yeah. good. So well, let's reflect now, but what a great time we had, really. Oh, we had a marvellous time. Absolutely, yeah. It really, really was a real proper... Look, summer standing. Oh, 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 get up, get up. They all did. We had, <laughs> I mean, it's not showing off, but we got standing innovations every night. We yeah. had a wonderful Far time. Far from Watford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also, a lot of it was... We were very, very deter- determined to do a really value for money show it was two and a half hours and we wanted to work very hard and we did because it and it really pays off I think it's not just a kind of cheap rip off thing we just had yeah, a wonderful people appreciate time. the fact you've put a bit of work into mm. it we all lost enjoyable. about 10 stone and went mad but it was worth it yeah. I didn't <laughs> I didn't like fucking put 10 stone on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was all in Pringles and Jack Daniels yeah. <laughs> every night I didn't because we used to we could never eat we used to go back to the hotel and just have sandwiches yeah. to have and we'd have to talk to a load of people who wanted to come and say hello to us yeah. <laughs> like Leo Sayer and Damon Hill yeah <laughs> the giants the, the giants we got, we got a, they oh, were the they most famous people much. who came we, we, enjoyed that. we really enjoyed <laughs> seeing that again that's great end on that see you next bye 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 3rd of June